that easy. It's really that easy, bro. It's that easy, man. Okay, so... Like it's it's launching right now. I'm okay. I'm tired. My hair's pissing me off today. But I'm Gucci. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're gonna like we're gonna go through some fucked up shit in this house. Like I'm pretty sure the shambler's gonna come through and dick us down. Also, yeah, you should probably not be in here. You kinda you need to leave. You need to leave right now. At this very moment. Because you're gonna go stream vampire, right? Okay, good. Seriously, don't make me ban you. Because I will ban you. Because you're supposed to be playing this yourself. So you need to leave. Let me enjoy this, okay? It's all I have in life. Don't take this from me. That's wrong. You have Vampire. You have Vampire, so go play it. Seriously, you can watch the fucking VOD. Like, it's not like I don't save everything. Seriously, you need to leave. Like I'm not ser like I'm not I'm not kidding. I will ban you. I will ban your ass. I'm trying to charge my phone. But the charger's broken, so I got to hold it in a position so that the phone or the charger knows to fucking charge the phone. Because that is my sad pathetic life now. Hi cuddles. It was nice having you in here, but go stream vampire. The shambler. I need to see it. You need to leave. If I still I don't even want to see you lurking in here, like for a view. I appreciate it, but no. You're not even allowed to do that. See so best fucking get. Have a good stream. Yeah, thanks, you too. If you keep up you keep your your half of the promise you maniac I don't want to stream so I can watch you stream it's crazy please charge my phone these are hurting my feelings my feelings are, be are, are being hurted Still not charging. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. What a pain in the fucking ass. I have to like literally wrap it around itself. It's just a bad, a bad, bad time. Bro, look at this. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? You see this bullshit? What the fuck? What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Focus. Not on me, you stupid fuck on the cord. Camera. My man's. There you go. Really, Cuddles? Why are you still in here? Fucking leave! I'm serious. If within the next minute I still s see your fucking name in here, I'm gonna ban you. For a day. And I'm not gonna unban you. You have until 420 to fucking leave. Jesus Christ. You know, you just give simple directions and people still refuse to listen. It's fucking pandemonium. 
So once I get this to charge, and I know for sure that Cuddles has left, then I will continue with my game. But kick the fool and his crazy cult followers, but eleven X. Eleven X. What? Thank you for the donation. Now leave. Please. I don't want to have to ban you. Oh, it's 420. I literally said I'd ban you if you were still in here at 420. So But you donated. So you're probably in here to see my reaction to that. There you go. There's my reaction. Act like I won't refund it. Now leave. Gosh. But thank you for the donation. But leave. Please. I literally just want you to enjoy a game for yourself and not get spoiled. And I have to like fucking threaten to ban you. Like what the fuck? Really? I just had it in this spot and it was charging. Like, I'm really gonna fucking kill my phone in half. Please just charge, you stupid fucking monkey. My mans. You were doing things here that will cost people their lives. Okay, as soon as I get it charging, I literally just make sure it's charging, and then I place it down. I, I like, have to wrap, like, I'll have, like, a hairband, and I'll wrap it around it, and then make sure it's charging. And then I just put it down, and then I just don't fucking move it. Because if I move it, even the slightest bit, it will uncharge. And that's hell. So, anyway, back to this game. Cuddles better not be in here. Why does it say he's in here? That's weird. That's really weird. Hmm. Interesting. Now he's banned. Hmm. Rip. Ripperoni. For your own good, kiddo. Okay. I forget what I was doing. Oh yeah, we have to go see the- we have to go in the gallery to look at this shambler, whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I know I read all this stuff. I wanted to, I don't know if I should level up. 4 CP for 100%. Interesting. Interesting. I'll just let that sit for a bit. Is this dagger part of Sanders' collection, or was he seeking to acquire it? I already looked at this. 30%. I think I had 30 for both of these. That one has 28, but I'm pretty sure I had 30 for both. I don't need 
this big thing. Just use this. I think these are locked. Yeah, seems like it. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. my eyelids each time I shut my eyes damn I can't take anymore I can't hold him back forgive me that accursed family those accursed paintings that accursed Sarah <laughs> oof rip Okay, I was in the room with Cat, I believe, which I think is down here. And I read a book, and I didn't know what the deal was, why it was being freaky. Freaky dicky. Yeah, there's 30. Dope. I could use one of those. A strange Amerindian pendant. I saw this, I read all of this last night. Or in the last stream. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting. To finally give it away for nothing. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. Fucking pop that sucker open. What? What? That's twice you've stepped on my toes, Detective. <laughs> Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Oof. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? It's none of your business. Oof. Another painting by Sarah Hawkins. One connected to the horrors I've discovered on this island. What a surprise. I'm listening. There's more than that, Miss Baker. So people have been talking behind my back. I was almost beginning to like you, Mr. Pierce. But it stays cat for you. You knew the Sanders? Irene is a friend of mine. And you? What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network, and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? Not now, sweetheart. I'd like to read this without some snoop looking over my shoulder. Go take a hike, detective. Go take a hike, detective. That's crazy. I didn't think I'd actually get that. Okay, well, guess what? Haha, <laughs> funny. I get to restart. Fuck my life. I need to see it. 20 million times.
Is this dagger part of Sanders' collection, okay. or was he seeking to acquire this? Um. Let's see what Get this, this cylinder bad has boy. to say. Once Put it's it in there. In the phonograph. Irene. I don't know why any of these doors can't be open. Like, let me in your house, ya bish. Ya bish. Like. Oof. I see him. Behind my eyelids. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawk. I could use one of those. My man's. A strange Amerindian pendant. That accursed paintings. That accursed Sarah. I like this. I hope we got. I wish we could get more. That is such a cool, like, little thing. I know it does nothing, but. It's still interesting. Okay. Oh, that went at 35. Festarium Volume 2. This is by Abigail G, right? Um, wish I could read it. Encyclopedia of Monstrous and Unknown Creatures and Beginning to Believe that They Exist. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell fucking yeah. 40%. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, a triple! God damn. Yes. Malleus best bestarum best bestiarum. Pierce read in ancient treaties the whatever this beastery makes an inventory of numerous creatures from the occult world or parallel dimensions. The very nature of its knowledge makes it an unholy book. By reading it, Pierce lost some of his sanity. Fuck yes. What's up, Cherry? How are you? How are you doing today? How are you feeling? Shambler. Oh, jeez. Comes from a dark and inhospitable dimension where the rarity of food sources keeps it in a state of permanent starvation. This is why it is in a constant state of readiness to travel to other dimensions in order to feed on its inhabitants. Make sure you never weaken the veils of your dimension, otherwise you risk attracting this very dangerous creature. Should this happen, you have to lay eyes upon it for its being... You just have to lay eyes upon it for its being to anchor itself in your dimension and, and to allow it to rip you open with its claws. I'm pretty sure we're just not supposed to look at it, right? But it'll probably attack us. Chillin'? Yeah, same. The men will gather the knowledge through the lines dictated to me by the great old ones, but also in other volumes. The visions that assail me whisper me names and silhouettes of mystical creatures. Soon, the Malleus Monstru Monstruorum? Monstruorum? I don't know. Rep rep repository of all... An anatomical, cosmic, and dimensional knowledge will be seen as the authoritative, um, authoritative, authoritative work. This book, unholy among the most cursed books, will one day be the final rampart between man and the predators that are willing to devour him, hidden behind the veils of parallel dimensions. Okay, okay, alright. Oof, all right, all right. Game saved. Hell yeah. Hell fucking yeah. Mm. 
chapter six in the mansion. That's twice you've stepped I've got some what have you um another painting but what is it I found this drawing of a dagger did you come across anything like it in your reading perhaps Oof. I saw several daggers in the ledgers I could always check what I didn't find however was the slightest reason why I should help you detective I don't need your services I can manage Oof. all my own do it then. Not now, sweetheart. I'd like to re when why is she such a bitch? Why is such a bitch? Such a bitchy bitch. Little big bitch. Little miss bitchy bitch. I'm just playing. But yeah, she is kind That's of a twice bitch. Oh, so what have you come? Another what is All's fair in love and war, I suppose. Not now, sweetheart. I'd like to read this without some sound looking over my shoulder. Oof. Feels bad, man. Oh, is this the gallery? <clears throat> you just hear me maniacally typing like that? It means that I, um... <laughs> I'm saving my game. Oh god. I'm gonna have to- okay. Okay, it's pretty obvious the Shambler's a fucking, like, real thing. Or it's like a monster and it's gonna dick us down. It's really just gonna give us the big dick. Hmm. He said, hmm. That's all you could say? I didn't even get a subtitle for that. What the fuck? Look, there's a twig in there. I'm just kidding. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. These artifacts date from okay. pre-Columbian times. Up oh, there it is, the shambler over there. We'll go over there last if we can. I'd like to explore everything else first. The public entrance to the gallery. The public entrance okay. to the gallery. <laughs> you should get a look at all this stuff. Like, really look at it. It's a fucking gallery. Why was sake. he so interested in old weapons? He's gotta be like a fucking billionaire or some shit. Like, this man was loaded. Loaded. AF. Hmm. hmm. Same. Relatable. The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Yep. Okay, so the fuel for the lantern is in the left room, the room to the farthest left on a little table. So I should probably remember this. And there's a thing right next to it that I can hide in. I'm just trying to remember this stuff because I know it's going to be important. I know we're gonna get dicked down. I can feel it in me bones. Feel it in me bones. I wonder if I should have talked to hike, her detective. after I fucking like looked around in the gallery. But whatever. I doubt she's gonna. She really help me that much. To be honest. She doesn't. 
doesn't really seem the type. And I got blood on it, the fuck? What the hell? Fucking Draugr from Skyrim. Look, he put it in its own, like, special place. Fucking weird. Oh, and there's one here, too. Damn, I'm really gonna get dicked if there's two of them. You're having a bad moment? Sorry to hear that. Far from possessing the talents of Sarah Hawkins, Sanders drew a, dra a dagger with a tortured form down to the smallest detail. The guard carries a strange esoteric symbol, a recurring feature of his correspondence with Sarah. Alright. out of the painting. We're gonna get sucked in. Yep. Interesting. Short attention span? I can feel that. I think I have both. What? A short oh, that? and not a short. Um. Sanity. Okay, is it nightmare or not sure? It says it took from our sanity. I hope you feel better, friend. I hope you feel better. It doesn't even. I thought it was gonna. Thought there was gonna be a kill scene or something, but it just. It just, uh. Held me up and smiled at me. What the hell was that? Interesting. Now, what the fuck am I supposed to do?
me, cuz. You ain't see me. You ain't see me. It's okay. You ain't see me. He saw me. He saw my ass. He saw my ass get in his closet. happens or maybe it maybe it happens now but before I tested and I stayed in it for like at least a minute or two and nothing happened it sounds like he's losing his shit but nothing happened so maybe it takes having to get to this chapter to see that he making a hell of noise Maybe they can hear the noise? I'm not sure. I don't know where the fuck he is. I can't even touch it. Holy shit, I don't know why the game over screen is obnoxiously fucking loud, but if that could just not rape my ears, that would be great. So what do I do? I don't know. It doesn't say anything. What the hell was that? Hey, big boy. It's okay. Shh. Okay. Shh. Whenever I get caught, I'm just gonna restart check- Can you like just load me in, bro, without all this fucking theatric shit that I've what seen five that? times already? Holy shit. It's so fucking loud. up what I'm supposed to do because I don't really want to roam around for 20 fucking two hours not even 20 minutes I'd say <clears throat> Fuck up, you annoying ass bitch. Jesus Christ, I have to turn my whole game down. And I have been enjoying it being loud. Like I've been in, like I've wanted it loud on purpose to be like mega immersed, but wow, the fucking what the hell was that? noise from the monster is just too much. That shit too much, cuz. Where's the dagger? Da <clears throat> Maybe I can use this dagger.
Do I just go up to the painting and fucking slash that shit, I guess? I just looked up that I needed the dagger. That's all. That's all I did. Just to clarify. It's not the right dagger. Got you. Grab that shit. Grab that shit. Run, boy. Run, boy. Oh, God. I'm going to get dicked. Damn it. Yeah, you guys need to fix that fucking obnoxiously fucking loud. Like... Nice. That plays after a game over, or right before a game over, because that shit is atrocious. What the hell was that? Yikes. Okay, so I guess we have to look at um piece of paper. No, that's not it. No. No. This. This. So it has to look like this. So I have to find this dagger somewhere, which would have been nice to know. Would have been nice to know that's what I needed. Well, I mean, I guess I could have picked it up, but I wouldn't have really known which one it was. Okay, how about this? How about this? Um, what we're gonna do is very simple. Alright. I'm going to go back to the main menu. I'm gonna restore my save from when I just got in the gallery. Then I'll find, I'll find the dagger without the creature chasing me, and then um, I'll reload to the um, the current save, and then go and get that dagger, just so I can fucking know which one it is. Before I get dicked down. The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Right, this one. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. That doesn't look like the one. That's not the one. I don't think that looks like the one. No, that doesn't look like it. That doesn't look like it. That's not it, that's a bow. That's not it. These all look like Skyrim weapons. I'm not even gonna front. That's not it. Alright, so where are we? We're in the first one to the left. So this one doesn't have it. Okay, obviously not there. Now we'll go the first one to the right okay so the left one doesn't have it the right one has it it must have it that's not it that's not it I don't think oh that one's hard to see because of the light I don't think that's it no that's not it this is the one I think is it a bow no wait, that's wait, that one's the one I think. Yeah, I think it's I think it's this one. Why was he so interested in old weapons? I think I'm pretty sure it's this one. So it's the one on the right underneath the writing. 
Let me check real quick. This one, and it has that, and it's like, it goes like that, like twice. Yeah, that has to be the one. Okay, so I'm going to be, I guess, over here. Try and plan it out best I can. So I'm going to pop up right here. And then I'm going to want to make my way over here. And he'll probably see me here. But if I, I could get him to not see me, that'd be great. Because then he'll probably just go around. And then I could make my way over here. And then I could grab this one. I have to break the glass. Wait, no. It's it's this one. Sorry. <laughs> grab this one. I have to break the glass. So he's probably going to come running. So I could either get in there or I could yeet my ass up here. But that's risking whether or not I can outrun him. I don't think that I can. He has what seems to be multiple arms or very extendo extendo arms and then I gotta slash the painting so okay now we have a game plan right we have a game plan and we know which dagger to get which god bless god bless So now I won't have to run around and die 50 fucking times. Excuse me, trying to figure out which one it is. I'm, I'm so smart. I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. It's weird. Sometimes I'm just too smart for myself. You know? Like, normally, I'm pretty stupid. I have no problem admitting that I'm stupid, because it's the truth. I mean, why would I hide it? You know what I mean? Sorry, I'm trying to clean my disgusting, my disgusting glasses. They're not disgusting because they're dirty, but they're disgusting because they, just they never get clean. They never get clean, bro. It's really crazy. Uh-oh. Oh my god, I thought for a second that I used my zipper to clean. That would, <laughs> that would not have been good. Also, if you guys didn't know, Super Cuddles, he should be streaming right now. He should be streaming Vampire. If he's not, please tell me, and I will call the police. What the hell was that? I can also lean. I should probably do that. Oh shit. Damn. This dagger looks different. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Dick him. Dick him, dick him. Give him the dick. Give him the dick. Give him the dick. Come and get me, baby boy. Sorry about this. Hey, get away from me. Get the fuck off of me. Stab his ass. There you go. Oh, now he's gonna come back because we, we looked him in the eyes. We looked him directly in our eyes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Corruption. No, don't do that. What's the matter with you? Lol. <clears throat> Interesting. You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. 
I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? Damn. He really don't say, nah, I just drank too much. My bad, like... What the hell? Sanders was right. This painting is cursed. What are you talking about? I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. I... I think so, too. Oof. You knew about the monster? My arm was disappearing into this painting. You must have seen that. I saw you put your trembling hands on a collector's artifact. Where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer He's in the bar. Water. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. really should talk to this Drake, and you give me this information free of charge. It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now go see your antique seller. I still got things to settle with Irene. Oof. The Nameless Bookstore. The Shambler turned out to be much more than artwork painted by Sarah Hawkins, as a huge creature came out of the painting to attack Pierce. After a hard fight, the detective managed to send it back into the painting. He later discovered that the dagger he used to repel the creature had been sold to Sanders by a man named Algernon Drake, owner of the Nameless Bookstore. Pierce decides to pay the library a visit. I kept trying to talk to that guy when he was in the bar. He was the one where his face was super, super, super white. It was like ghostly or deadly. It was honestly like dead white. And he had scars on his on his left arm. And then he had writing, like some kind of scripture, on this part of his right arm. <clears throat> I hope he's okay. Now we're on chapter 7. Um, I left the Sanders house still shaken by my encounter with the Shambler. Thanks to Kat's indi indications, I ended up at the Nameless Bookstore, a haunt for devotees of esotericism. Or esotericism. The place seems to have been burglarized. Who could have done such a thing? Damn. What's up, Ken? How are you? How you feeling? <laughs> Hell yeah. Another mental tra trauma. Meet the Shambler. It is in Francis Sanders' private gallery that Pierce discovers the identity of the Shambler, a huge artwork painted by Sarah Hawkins. When Pierce approached it, a creature burst forth from the painting and immediately chased after him. This beast from another dimension has such a hold on the mind of a person who finds himself in its presence that a simple glance in its direction is enough for Pierce to lose some sanity. Pierce finally managed to send the Shambler back into the painting using a dagger engraved with a strange symbol, but this encounter has left its mark excuse me, on the psyche of the investigator still under the influence of the, cre the creature he almost stabbed his own hand. Yeah, we are dropping sanity quick now, boys. I'm trying to get all that shit. Hell yeah. Sanders residence. The Sanders house, in all, all in shades of red and in gold, is impressive, but nothing matches the private gallery of Francis Sanders. This place is huge and entirely dedicated to his passion for troubling and macabre 
works, defaced figures of virgins, sacrificial daggers, statues, statues of monsters, and the painting that led him to his demise takes center stage. The Shambler, a painting by Sarah Hawkins, a close friend of the couple. What happened in this room, I will never be able to forget it. Dagger of the Ancients. This exceptional dagger of Ottoman origin probably dates from the... What is that? Ten... 16th century you're welcome it bears the elder sign on its hilt it apparently belonged to Pargali Ibrahim Pasha Grand Vizier at the court of Suleiman the Magnificent legend tells that Pargali used the symbol on the dagger to protect the court from a creature that haunted the mirrors of the palace what is certain is that Suleiman had his vizier Executed. Did he fear him after this demonstration of power? Extract from Art and Mysticism, Francis Sanders Forgotten Objects. Painting of the Shambler. The painting was exposed in Francis Sanders' gallery, but I think that the creature no longer requires it for movement. It went to hunt down Sanders in the cellars of the Riverside Institute. I do not know where it comes from, but one thing is sure, it's starving. Did I succeed in sending it back to its world? I am not sure. Probably not. You probably just sent it back, set it or set it back a step or two. But I doubt you. You really punished, or I doubt you really um, banished that baby. All right, so we're on chapter seven, boys. Who is ready? I think there's like what four more chapters. I I don't know how many chapters there are. To be honest. I kind of don't want to know. Um, I have six. Hmm. Kind of want to go for. This or this. Where is the bookseller? Okay, let me save. Chapter seven. Stop it. I want to see that scroll. Another volume of the Reverend's Wife's Diary. Diary of the Pastor's Wife, Volume 4. Volume 1 is the only one I don't have. The pastor declared himself to be the prophet. He renounced God and worshipped a strange pagan entity with a monstrous appearance. His wife tried to reason with her husband, but in vain. He was convinced that he must listen to this voice in his head because it holds the truth. Oof, interesting. Very, very interesting. Look at all these books. You got books on your phone? Freud's The Interpretation of Dreams. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. This practical work, written by Sigmund, Sigmund Freud, for psychologist, describes the techniques of analytical interpretation of dreams. The, an the analysis must follow several rules, especially that of free association, a principle announced by Freud at the end of the 19th century. It treats dreams as a way of revealing buried desires. I cannot believe that this theory is applicable to my nightmares. History of Dark Water, Volume 2. A Puritan colony led by Reverend John Wickwood settled on the island during the 17th century. They named the island Dark Water because of the dark shades of the sea. 
They believed it was because of the peculiar color of the rocks surrounding the island. They erected the first buildings, among which were the Hawkins Manor, the church, and the cemetery. The rare documents and handwritten notes they left spoke of nightmares and deviant behaviors. They disappeared at the beginning of the 18th century. Playing ESO? Cool shit. I hope you enjoy that. And get hella loot, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> whatever the fuck you're playing that for. I hope you get whatever it is that you want, basically. Bravery of Medicine, Tome 3. Even a, years, even a few years back, it was possible for a single practitioner to know all the medical knowledge of his time. This book, which concludes the series, shows that this is now virtually impossible. About ten renowned doctors took part in putting together this collection. Hell yeah. Hella medicine books. I've got a bunch of medicine books, but I only got one. The Book of Zion is the foundational occultism. work behind Helena Blavatsky's Theosophical Movement. Its followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. Stanzas of Dizan? Dizan? These Tibetan writings are at the origin of the esoteric movement founded by Helena Blav... Blavatsky at the end of the 19th century. The creator of Theosophy, Theosophy, I don't know, these are big words, bro. Theosophy would have drawn extensively on the texts of this work, but no one has ever been able to consult them. Excuse me, I thought they didn't exist. This book, discovered in the nameless bookstore on Dark Water, could be as much a fake as irrefutable proof of Blavatsky's sincerity. Sincerity. That's the second book of occultism. Hell yeah, baby. Hell fucking yeah. Hell yeah, boy. Wanna read all the books in here. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes. Would you read the book? Uh, duh. What does this strange book contain? This book contains unholy knowledge. There's the second occultist book. This collection catalogs and classifies creatures that I have never heard of. Divinities from the stars, creatures capable of traveling from one dimension to another. It presents itself as the reference work on the beastery, beastery, beastery of the myth. Without giving details on the mythology to which it refers, its pages are covered with fan Phantasmoric. Phantasmoric. Boy. Fan. illustrations. Alright, I'm not attempting that again, so if that's wrong, sorry. Sorry. 52. Ay, ay, ay. Handbook on Atom. Anatomy and Dissection, Book 2. As precise and illustrated with as much detail as the first volume, this book focuses on healing surgeries specific to malformations and motor disorders. Right. Whatever you said. Lol. <laughs> Whatever you said. Looking at around, looking around at everything, lots of details. It's like a little curio shop. I mean, I know it's a bookstore, but it's also kind of like a little curio shop. It's nice. I love these kinds of places, places in games. I don't think I've ever been to one in real life, though. But honestly, they're probably not even that interesting in real life. <clears throat> Oh, 
shit. Wait, before we do that. What happened here? Wait, I don't want to do that yet. No, stop, stop, stop it. Enough. No. Really? Okay, that's fine. Because it's just saved, so suck my dick off into outer space. Preferably Mars or something. Mars. 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 <clears throat> Excuse me, Mars. 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 I love how you can just say a word a few times and you're like, that doesn't even sound like a word anymore. Mars. Mars. It's interesting, to say the least. Alright, so we'll go up here first. Hmm. I sure wonder <laughs> if there's a safe behind that painting. Handbook on Anatomy and Dissection, Book 1. The least that can be said about this book is that its title is well conceived. The illustrations of human anatomy <laughs> and dissection methods presented are illustrated in great detail. Doesn't it? You too? It looks fucking cool. You have to have a strong heart or the detachment proper to doctors to consult its pages. Um, one sec. Sorry, I had to mute my mic because I adjusted it, so it started raping again. <laughs> a strange amulet. I have a feeling I'd better not touch it. Touch it. Amulet in the shape of a dog. Strange amulet. The pendant is in the shape of a large dog. I don't know what it represents. I might find out more by searching the bookstore. Touch that bitch. Give it a good pat on the head for being a good dog. The Hound. Do not make the mistake of taking this jewel for an inanimate, inanimate object. The soul of a powerful sorcerer, devourer of bodies of the Lang cult, a sect from Central Asia, li lies in this jade amulet. His very characteristic form, a massive hunting dog, represents the transformation of the sorcerer into a man-eating ghoul. Whoever unearths the amulet and wears it around his neck is at the risk of the sorcerer's wrath. The latter will return in the shape of a formidable hunter to track and dismember all defilers. Okay. Maybe don't pat the dog on the head. Maybe I take that back. Maybe. Just maybe, though. Just maybe, though. Hmm. Let me see something. I have six. I wonder what I should use it for. Either this or this. Oh, I put your little ass in there. 
Get your ass in there, boy. Oh, you hear it? You hear that? I'm trying to interact with it. Let me in. I'm looking at those are big ass fucking bugs, bro. What the fuck? Hello? Oof, my man's. How do I get to the safe? Maybe I gotta inspect the other room? I'm not sure. I'm trying to get in that safe, boy. I'm trying to get in that safe, boy. What happened here? History of Dark Water, Volume 4. In the 19th century, as the American whaling industry reached its peak in the rest of the world, whales gradually disappeared from the waters surrounding dark, dark water. This phenomenon appears even more mysterious because up till then, the region was a favored refuge for centis centisans, something. In 1847, after months of pursuit, Scylla returns to port with a gigantic creature on board. Its crew asserts that the sea monster had eaten all the disappeared whales. After a night of ferocious combat, the survivors managed to drag the beast onto the whaling ship. Ooh, goblet. This is so cool. This is so much more than, like... A bookstore because when you think of bookstore like I always think of like Barnes and Noble like it's literally just books but this is like a curio shop like there's so much more than books in here yes I know game thank you hold my fucking hand let's start over where did they break in from oh hell yeah here Avi Blood. Seems like amateur work. Definitely. Wait, one second. I'll bring it back.
Oh well. I'm back. I wanted to get a snack. So I got one. Saltine crackers. So I'm probably going to mute my mic so you guys don't hear um, crunching. Thank you, Ken. Investigation. I don't know if I'm having enough of this. To whom does this footprint belong? So, let me see something. I want to see. I want to see something. Saltines are fire. Yeah. I actually get the, um, the, like, store brand or whatever, because it's, like, two bucks cheaper. And I'm broke. So, um... <laughs> But they taste the exact same, so. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So I wanna see. Are there any pretzels? You like pretzels? I used to eat pretzels when I was younger. Honestly, the only way. I really, I don't really enjoy them anymore, unless they're like, like pretzels in the way of this, I don't enjoy, but like soft pretzels are good, like I like those. A strange amulet. I have a feeling I'd better not touch it. Um, soft pretzels I really fuck with, but like the hard ones, the crunchy ones and shit, I don't like anymore. But, I will say, I got these, um, just randomly, I saw that there was, like, a bag of chocolate pretzels at the store. And I got chocolate, like, little, little tiny pretzels that were, like, just bathed in chocolate and milk chocolate. Oh my god. Just, like, the mix of the sweet chocolate and, like, the saltiness of the pretzels. Oh my Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me just tell you. You said rolled? Let me look that up right now. No. It was definitely not that. It was not that. It was flips. Flips milk chocolate covered pretzels. I got them a giant. This is what they look like. Oh, you said you know. Okay, you know already. You know already. You got that clout. You already know. Yeah, I don't know. I just I got those. I was like, bruh, these are what happened here? <laughs> the best things I've ever tasted in my life. But it's like, what sucks is, it's such a small bag, and like, like, once you open it, it has like a little Ziploc, like, you know, like, for freshness or whatever, but like, once you open it, you pretty much have to eat it in like once, really, the fucking phone, you have to eat it in like one sitting, or they'll like, melt, or they'll get stuck together. Unfortunate. Yeah, rolled gold. I've I've Let's had Where did I've had rolled gold um honey mustard pretzels. I used to eat honey mustard pretzels all the time. Oh my god. Blood. Seems like but it amateur was, work. It was it was definitely that brand. Makes them properly. Damn. You out here throwing shade. How you make a pretzel improperly? Or not properly. <clears throat> the Nameless Bookstore. I've never seen such a collection of works on magic. Excuse me. And, and occultism. Algernon Drake, the owner, prides himself on being a luminary in the study of esoteric phenomena. The library was ransacked during an attempted bur burglary. It holds numerous rare or forbidden works. It back... Its back room houses a safe protected by an ancient symbol. 
are good for the flavor, not the pretzel. That's true, yeah. What's up, German? How are you? How you living? Someone tall left this footprint. A man, probably. See, we got more that time. Before it was like, who left this footprint? And then I save scummed and it's like, oh, a tall man left this footprint. Which I mean isn't really, I mean, I doubt, like that alone isn't going to change the entire game. But it does help you like familiarize more of the crime scene. No, you don't have to seize. I don't think you have to seize. Not yet, anyway. No sign of struggle. If the burglar smashed this jar, it wasn't intentional. Was he hurt then? Because the person who broke this window bled, I guess. Yeah, they bled. I don't know if it's the same person or what. What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? What killed all these animals? The demon behind the painting. What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? What the... Charles Hawkins? This is fucking cool. The fuck is this? I never saw this shit before. I didn't know this game was cyberpunk. Like, what the hell? Oof. Big fucking oof. Is that Sarah Hawkins and Algernon Drake? What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Why did that shit hurt me, cuz? the fuck? Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. But don't worry. She died in a fire. That she caused. Ooh, for whatever. Alright. Charles Hawkins tried to burglarize Algernon Drake's bookstore, but how is it possible given that he is supposed to be dead? There's a lot more behind the story than a mere con conjugal drama. What did Sarah Hawkins and Algernon Drake try to hide in the latter's safe? So Algernon Drake, the owner of the bookstore, also knew Sarah Hawkins. Their relationship went far beyond that of a seller and a faithful client. She helped him to protect an object. They hid it in the back room safe, and Sarah Hawkins painted this strange symbol on the door. Charles Hawkins must have wanted to seal it. Steal it! I must open the safe and find out what's hidden inside. How can I find the combination? Oh, great. A puzzle. <clears throat> I'm excited. And by that, I mean we're fucked. Um, that's what I mean by that. The burglary. The nameless bookstore's burglar came through the door. A bit further, some knocked over objects allow the trail to be followed into the back room. There, the mess next to the safe confirms the person's aim. However, there is no material evidence to support my hunch as to the identity of the burglar. 
Charles Hawkins did, impe did indeed appear to me, as well as the star symbol on the door of the safe. I cannot determine if the presence of Sarah Hawkins in my projections is the result of the unconscious work of my mind, or whether it proves that the case obsesses me. I wonder if it's that way because our sanity is fucked. <clears throat> All these tingy tings. His, he's, yeah, he's running out. He, the man is, he's running, he's running out. He's about halfway. Almost. See some heretics? Okay. Have fun. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Drake's memoirs. Page seems to be hidden here. It is possible to read. If somebody finds these memoirs, there will be no doubt that I am in serious trouble. My last and only hope is that my body and bones are still in this place of reality in order that, that they may be recovered and burned. The funeral urn must be given to my dear mother if she is still of this world. The following message is of capital importance. Whoever reads these lines and demonstrates acuity as sharp as mine can hope to gain access to my most precious possession it lies within my safe and the clues to the combination are to be found in three cylinders each hidden where life and study combine in the greek world each cylinder is numbered even if as the celebrated author says order is the pleasure or er, order is the pleasure of reason but disorder is the delight of the imagination but disorder oh my god i can't read OVO Drake, sorry I had to. It's weird because I don't even think of that. I thought of like Nathan Drake. Um, okay, indeed, despite my pre my preference for organized chaos, I must admit that the reason usually prevails in the end. If by chance a person, or should I say a genius, was to match my intellect and find the combination of the safe, I would ask that they deliver its content. Excuse me. Into the safekeeping of my friend and colleague, Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University, the content of this safe is not only a vast digest of knowledge, but also a weapon that is far too dangerous for it to fall into the wrong hands. I hope that you will be able to appreciate the danger that this represents and that you will act accordingly. In any event, I will neither be there to guide you nor to suffer from your actions. I kind of like, I want to read what it says. No, okay. It says, okay, it basically, it sums it up here. Because oftentimes it doesn't. Never mind. We just read it then. Hee <laughs> hee. Which is being weird, sorry. <clears throat> is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? Lol, it seems like it. I found these sleeping pills in the bookshop. Does the bookseller suffer from insomnia? What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? The key of relay file? This key that bears the elder sign is the only one able to protect your psych. It is in the form of a cylindrical medallion hanging at the end of a heavy chain. Hundreds of years ago, the star and the branch, whose purpose is to push back the forces of the great old ones, were engraved at its center. Everything points to it being Charles Hawkins that tore it from its last owner, an Egyptian antique dealer. In press cuttings that mention the misdemeanor, the date of the robbery coincides with the last of Hawkins' trips to, to Cairo. It remains to be seen whether he knows of the true purpose of the artifact. Try to find it. Interesting. <clears throat> Very interesting. He said, Sam, honestly. Yeah. 
that's wh who I think of when I hear Drake. I always think of Nathan Drake. I mean, how could you not, you know? Just how could you not? He's a fucking legend. Nathan Drake. Whoa, I can look at a bunch of different shit now. Arkham editions. Never heard of him. Arkham Anthology. Volume was at nine. As a thought and other horrors. A collection of poems by Edward Pickman Derby, also known as the Nightmare Lyrics. This collection of poems was essentially received when first sensationally received when first published in nineteen oh eight. Derby was only eighteen years old. This volume is part of the Arkham Anthology, a luxurious collection of treaties and works on esoteric esotericism and the supernatural. How many volumes are there in this collection? Wait, so another volume by Arkham Editions. Okay, those are all out of order. Arkham Editions. Never heard of him. Calm down, sweetie. I know. How many volumes are there in this? Shut your little another stupid ass. By Shut Ar up. Arkham Editions. Shut up. I want to read them in order, you How many fuck. Volumes are there okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so Arkham Anthology Volume 1, o Ora Linda. Okay, an ancient Frisian manuscript translated by William R. Sandbach. The text claims that in the distant past, Europe and other continents were controlled by the mothers of this people, and moreover, that our alphabet is derived from the Frisian language. This volume is part of the Arkham Anthology. Okay. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Where's two? If he could just not put his fucking input in every single one that I came across, that would be great. Especially if we've already heard it before. There's no need for us to hear it again. What kind of chalice. This goblet seems to be very ancient. It seems to be made of gold and decorated with real precious stones. Do the rubies and sapphires make up a specific motive? I don't know. You're the detective. Figure it out. Christ almighty. <clears throat> Things are not looking good. Oh, great. Thank you for that. We're fucked. We are fucked. Okay, I'm just looking. Be looking at everything. See if I missed anything. Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. Hell yeah. That goblet was detailed as hell. Yes, it was. You are absolutely right. It was. Okay, so we were looking for two. Arkham editions. Okay. How many volumes are there? That's three. Another volume by Arkham editions. Volume 2, Corpus Hermet Hermeticum, Hermetus, I don't know, written by Hermes, Tris, Mig Tris Megestus, translated and edited by Nathaniel M. Dickbag. This collection of texts on different beliefs was written by a legendary philosopher. It includes a translation of the Emerald Tablet a popular text among 16th century alchemists. This volume is, okay, read that. Arkham That's three. Never heard of him. Things That Should Not Be, a collection of essays on American folklore and urban legends written by Albert Wilmarth, professor at Miskatonic University. Is that the dude that he wanted his shit to be given to in his safe? I don't remember. Cylinder 1, a cylinder meant to be listened to by using a phonograph. I found it in the nameless bookstore. The message, although obscure, might contain important information. Okay. He said... Deliver it to the safekeeping of my friend, Professor Armitage. How many volumes are there in 
this collection. So I guess that's not the same person. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Oh, that's editions. two. Arkham Editions. That's six. How many volumes are there in this? Ah. Uh, uh, Arkham Editions. Okay, this is this one is four. Arkham Editions. Never heard of them. The Key of Solomon. A book of spells supposedly written by the legendary king Solomon. It contains various rituals of invocation and rituals of curse. Re-edition by Claudia. Based on LW. Okay, original. Oh, we're five at. How many volumes are there in this collection? That's seven. Another volume by Arkham. Ah! Arkham Editions. Where's How five? Many are there in this That's collection? six. Where the hell is five? I can't find that bitch. Where's five at? I don't know if they're all supposed to be together. Another volume by Arkham Edition. Arkham Edition. No. How many volumes are? Why would they have him repeat his fucking dialogue like my man's? Please, shut your stupid ass up. Another volume by Arkham Editions. That looks like one right there. That is, that is one. Wow, that's fucking incredible. That's five. But I can't read it for some reason. Hmm. Hmm. Can't read it. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. That's literally five. Because I have 70%. So I get everything else, but I don't get five. Like, what the fuck? Okay. Arkham editions. Prophecies. Never heard of them. A collection of long-term astro astrological predictions written in verse. Okay. How many volumes are there? In this That's collection? eight. Another volume by Arkham editions. There's a bunch I'm missing, Arkham I guess. Editions. Isis. Never heard of them. Pogchamp, a book of esoteric philosophy and a key text in Madame Blavatsky's Theosophical Movement. God, words are so cool. How many volumes cool. are there? I love it Another when they're big for no reason. Opera in eight acts by Benvenuto Chitti. <laughs> Opera in eight acts by Ben, an infamous lyrical work published in Italy in 1768. It is said that the opera was performed only once, resulting in an audience riot that left several dead and <laughs> missing. <laughs> what the fuck? Arkham editions never heard of him. I read that one already. I think I read all of them that I could. How many volumes are there in this collection? There's quite a few, and for some reason, one of them, you can't fucking... I don't know why, but you can't read it. It's very weird. But whatevs. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta figure out the combination to his safe. Things are not looking good. I don't know about that. We gotta listen. Kind okay. of chalice. Yeah, you're right. This is like super detailed. I noticed that too. Mega detail put into that. But also, there like I think there's other things that he's picked up. Like this is detailed. Not as detailed because, like, it's not a chalice, but it's detailed. Okay, so let's put in the first one. It is, though. I like the details. It's nice. And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. What was that first one? And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not... The chalice of knowledge. Protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. And not the characters, I yeah. To pay to know its secrets. I agree. What's up, Chet? I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. 
I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. The Queen has little protection. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. I do. Bitch, I do. Okay, so... The Chalice of Knowledge. And these red drops, like precious stones, lie strip. The Chalice of Knowledge. So... One, two, three, four, five, maybe, as the first digit? To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I'm typing that in, because I don't feel like writing it down, to to and I'm not going to remember. I, finally I don't know if this is right or not, but I would just want to try it. Of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. The queen has I little see protection. Our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Okay, I tried... Okay, okay. Dear friend, I thank you again for he the said nine. the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and other horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. Drake talked about a particular volume. Um, okay. So, okay. Five. Um. I don't know if this is right, but I'm gonna try it. I don't think it's that easy. Nine? Like, why would... I don't think it would be nine. Or maybe... Um... <clears throat> excuse me. I'm not sure. I don't fucking know. But I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't dick me. <clears throat> excuse me. So, <clears throat> we want to go, we want to get this one, okay, okay, wait, wait, stop, stop, what are you doing, stop, stop, enough, okay, I think it's five, I'll try three, and then, I don't think it's nine, it is, <laughs> okay, five, three, nine, that was, Pretty simple. First try, so to age. Wait, I want to turn my game up now that I'm not dealing with a shambler anymore. Okay. No, why am I back here, bruh? Riverside Institute. In the nameless bookstore, Pierce traced the tale or the trail of an attempted burglary. He discovered that Charles Hawkins was behind the attempt. Pierce opened the bookseller's safe to find what the latter and Sarah Hawkins had hidden there. A book covered in human skin lied inside, irresistibly attracted the detective. When he opened it, his mind was projected into another body. I wonder if we're going to play Sarah Hawkins, or Algernon Drake, or Sanders, Frederick Sanders, or whatever the fuck his name was.
They're the only ones I can really think of from the like, significant characters from the um, Institute. Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. We're oh, yeah. I forgot about Colton. He's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. interesting now we're playing cold yeah i completely <laughs> i was like i was thinking well maybe bradley but i completely forgot about colder to be honest not even gonna front are we still in chapter i think we're in chapter eight are we in chapter eight or chapter seven let's see Chapter 8. There we go. Sorry, I forgot that quickly. This man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... He's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. M There's no... What can you tell me about him? He was highly agitated an hour ago. We were about to tie him down when he fell asleep. Ten minutes ago, he curled up into a fetal position. I thought he was waking up, but no. I don't know why loading screen takes so long. Dr. Colden, this man's condition- What's- Oh, Mr. There- Very well. I'll examine him. What are these numbers for? You're late. I was trying to figure out the combination to the safe that I had to open. I found it out, and I found it out on the first try, baby! Hell yeah! I never solve a puzzle on the first try. Ever. But I did today, baby! I did it! So, yeah. I swear for you can ignore it now, though. So. We're on to the next chapter. I did. I'm pretty good at them shits. Good for you. I'm not you, so I suck.
you know, when you say true, every single time that you say true and then immediately say JK, you, it doesn't matter. You might as well just not even say JK. First try, yes. First try. Come on, why would I lie? This what says oh Mr. There's What can you tell me about him? He was highly agitated. I show me his file. That that's not possible. Don't tell me Dr. Fuller has taken this file as well. We need it. That's why I called you. This man's ailment has been hidden from us. Come on now. What was he treated for? An intoxication, I was told. After inhaling chemicals. I don't recognize him. Did he just arrive on the island? He said he worked on the docks, but not with Captain Fitzroy. I think he works for Ms. Baker. Who? You know, the woman at the head of their gang. They call her Cat. Oh, I see. Do you have other questions? What are his symptoms? His temperature has been going down. His skin losing its color. His body rigid. I closed his eyes myself. They were glassing over. I didn't want them to dry out. And I couldn't bear to look at the expression on his face. You did well. Don't worry. Let's stay professional, if you will. That'll do for the time being. Any idea what this man might be undergoing? Did you inject him with a tranquilizer? No, doctor. Not me, not anyone. Our stock is empty yet again. Again? But there was enough for the whole island. More and more people are suffering from insomnia. We can't refuse to help. Of course. Any idea what this man might be undergoing? Very well. I'll examine him. Sorry. Um, Riverside Institute. Nineteen. Wait. Okay. Twentieth. Then five days. October twenty-fifth. 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 Woke up two days later at Riverside Institute. Woke up a day later at Hawkins Manor. We went to the Sanders residence. Went to the bookstore. Same day we woke up. In this woman's body. Um, I found a book in the bookseller's safe. There was something wrong with it. It smelled of death and putrefaction. Putrefaction? I had a bad feeling. I read it to understand why I had such feelings. What happened after that? Where am I? Uh oh. Can't look at him. <clears throat> Thirty-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palupal tissue. Lord, this smell. An unknown medicine. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. I can't move, just... For anybody who was wondering. Severe malnutrition. Not quiet. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. Oh. 
doesn't seem like an edema. I know exactly Slight what that means. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. So, Doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. They're all big words. What did you find? This man been eating beans. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry. That the edema would go away. It's not an edema. No. I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified. Not at this rate. <clears throat> and yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at uh -oh. these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. Thanks. That's really helpful. I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but... When we bathed him earlier... He seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is under... Are you talking about aliens? aliens? And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Stupid. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Colden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm <clears throat> doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jazz hands. I'm out of there. Those shades are icy. Big facts. Big fucking facts. You're not even wrong. But Loki, his head looks tiny in comparison to his body and especially his arms. It kind of... The... The art style of, like, the characters and stuff kind of reminds me of Dishonored. Because it's very, like, it's very, like, um, I just forgot the fucking word I was going to use to fucking describe it. I'm fucking believable. Um, it's very, like, I don't want to say grim. But it's very, like, I already forgot. I already forgot. Help. Um. It's like. What was I gonna say? 
Anyway, I don't I don't know what I was gonna say, but in Dishonored, like their hands always look so much bigger than the rest of them, and that's kind of what he reminds me of at least. No. I've seen suction cups on his fingers, his falling body temperature, his dehydration. Had I only read the report, you know what I would have concluded, Doctor. Do I? Tell me anyway. I'm curious. He's no longer human. These are the attributes of an animal. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps. This amuses you. Your reaction does. I know you're <laughs> first for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Was that a threat? What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? Don't you get involved in this. You've done enough already. But, Doctor, this man is dying. There's nothing we can do about it. He's in the hands of Dr. Fuller. Do you wish to end up like Elizabeth? With a diploma from Nightingale and the chores of a cleaning lady? No. You're right. Let me do my own investigation. It's time I found those missing files. And where would you find those? In his office. What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. I forgot how to spell patient for a second. I put P A C and I'm like Pace P A C I E N T and I'm like that does not look right. And then I was like, Oh yeah, it has a T. One sec.
my mans. One sec. Sorry. Every time I fucking take off my headset and move it an inch, it starts to fuck up and it's just a bad, a gosh darn bad time. So I have to turn on my echo, like turn on me being able to hear myself so I can make sure that it's not doing that. You good, fam? He dead AF. <clears throat> this place draws you in and never lets you go. <laughs> Chronic insomnia, like half the island. This is cool. No, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> what the and hell? The is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Oh well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. I am just waiting to see the next time the water's cut off. It's a real show. Dr. Colden? Medicine and... Sorry. Secret Sciences. This very interesting book, aimed at a wide public, demonstrates how non-recognized sciences, sciences have influenced modern medicine. Magnetism, grandmother secrets... Chinese acupuncture, acupuncture, ac acupuncture, hypnosis, herbal medicine, alchemy, and many others have contributed to a certain extent to the enrichment of medicine at the beginning of this century. Hmm. Watch out for the water, doctor. I mean, then. I Don't mean. Don't go falling over. That would be stupid. Gosh darn. Oh shit. I want to explore all of this. The fuck? <clears throat> Block B, block A. Hay fever. What's he doing here? <laughs> Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. Oh. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. I know what that means. I can't move. Okay. Nurse? Deborah, Come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. He <laughs> just stroking that shit. Oof, ain't even actually gonna help him or give it to him. He 
broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Ah, the whaling station. What's wrong with me? Uh, you're ugly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very mature, as you guys can tell. <laughs> wow, I'm really stupid. Holy shit. I mean, like, everybody knew that, but, like, holy fuck. Like, wow, I am dumb. I am really dumb. One sec. What are you talking about? Uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? Okay, I think my mic is good. I think. The one that hides the smuggling business. Oh no, not them. They don't go on that side of the island. Everyone in his place. The captain on one side, Cat on the other, and me. Well, I've been to the whaling station, I have. What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten, and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. Alright, let me check. Sorry, let me check it. Oh my god, hello? Please? Can I just play the game? Okay, sorry, I just want to check it so I just know that it's not ear raping you guys. I'll just sleep a bit more. Okay, so let me ask him again. I really want to play through this, but like, after, I mean after I've finished it. But I want to play through it again and like have everything from the beginning you know what I mean like see how the game is see how the game is when you have everything unlocked from the get-go so you can like really explore all options and see what it's like when he doesn't lose his sanity But I don't know if I'll do that right after I finish. <laughs> Dr. Colden? Okay, she doesn't want to talk to me. He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Ah, the whaling station. What? Uh, yeah. What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back. Perhaps. No idea. <laughs> Passed out. Okay. Let's just sleep a bit more. Oof, Ripperoni. He did. <laughs> oh my god, that's Irene. She looks like a fucking Why doll. Why nobody tell me about her admission? She literally looked like a doll for a second. Like in a scary movie. The file describes the state in which Irene Sanders entered Riverside 
Institute as well as the treatments administered to her. Fuller added a handwritten note. He recommends to um, take her down to the psychiatric wing in order to provide her with the quiet and rest that she needs. What does this say? I want to know. I want to read it myself. Okay, daily report. I can't read this shit. Yeah, can't read that. Too small. Feels bad. She literally looks like a Mrs. doll. Sanders? Is she fucking dead? I thought she was a doll for a second. Like, doesn't she look like the head of like a doll you would see in like a horror movie or whatever? She doesn't even look like she's breathing. That bitch dead. She dead. That's fucking scary. Yeah, she dead as fuck. <clears throat> they definitely did something to her, her ass. Shame on the devs for what? Wait, what they do? Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. <laughs> All these sleeping pills. She recently came back from the surgical block. She's stable. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. <laughs> That's not even good for NPC. Oh. I mean, you don't even interact with her. Besides, her face looks like that. <laughs> I don't know. I think they did a good job with the environment. Even if the characters that you do interact with aren't that great. Or kind of stiff. I mean, it's not really the point. Everything else is pretty good, I'd say. I can overlook some certain imperfections. Excuse me. What is the boiler room key doing here? The key to the boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. The key to the Are boiler Are you going to take it? Not where I expected to find it. Oof, never mind, I guess. Lol. The key to the boiler room. Okay, fuck you. Not where I expected to find it. Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. Look at this person's hands. And their mouth. And their feet. Dr. Colden, here you are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment he prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. A lot better than the characters. Absolutely. <clears throat> His binds left bloody wounds. Oof. That looks like some fucking outsider dishonored shit. You feel me? What the hell? He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. Quite froth. Evidently because of such drooling. So, doctor, what should we do with this patient? I don't know. 
Uh. I ain't a doctor. I don't understand any of this shit. Do you guys understand what the fuck going on? Because I don't understand what the fuck going on. You said... Those hands chill, B. I'm um, sure. Okay. Alright, so tell me. What should we do? Second option. I don't know what more we can do. Are you answering as a doctor or as yourself? That's important. One sec. You said both. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure. Um, I'm trying to look. Or mistreated? Yeah, I was probably gonna go with mistreated. Because of the trap room. Oh, there's 14 chapters. Those basement brutes tied him up too tight, and now he's hurt. I keep trying to heal his wounds, but he reopens them. Do you have a diploma as a nurse? Excuse me? So take care of this man. Oof. That wasn't at all what I wanted it to be. Hello? Why does he, like, bite his lips so much? Oh, I, like, I guess that's blood? I thought it was, like, demon entity. You know what I mean? That doesn't really look like blood. I guess dry blood, but, like... I've never really witnessed purple blood and had it not been, like, messed with. You know what I mean? Let's see something. I doubt it's gonna make a difference. I want to see, I want to see what else she'll say. Like what, what the other options are. This looks like a ROM, or you mean a room, sorry. Welcome back.
Yeah. No, I figured. I figured that's what you meant. Okay, let me go up there and see what else I can say. Can we look at anything else first? Doesn't seem like it. Dr. Colden, here you are at last. Life. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Hyperallergic. Sir, I'm going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular. I can't so that skip I can this for some reason. So we gotta sit through it, suffer. <laughs> oh, fucking dumb. His binds left bloody. Okay, at least we can skip that. He bit his lip white. Um. You did good work. The tranquilizer is kicked in. Now you can disinfect and bandage his wounds. Thank you, doctor. And as to his weight loss, I'll prescribe an antifungal treatment for his dysgusia. In the meantime, feed him intravenously. It'll be done. Okay, I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do, but when we picked when we picked the um one before where it was like he's been mistreated, her like the tone in her voice was like super like aggressive. And it was like, like, it was just weird. It gave me this vibe like, uh, I don't know why it came off like that. You know what I mean? That went a lot smoother. Yeah. I don't know if that's really how we were supposed to deal with that, but, um, it sounded a lot better. So I'm going to stick with that one. So now I get to go back and look at everything that I already looked at. Haha, ha, XD. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. I wouldn't have anticipated from Yeah, it's so I like dialogue wheels, don't get me wrong. But it seems like whenever you have a dialogue wheel, it always tells you that you're gonna say one thing. And then you just say something different. What is the different. boiler room key doing here? And it's just like the key to the boiler room. Why is that not there? I expected to find it. If that's not what I'm going to fucking say. Especially because oftentimes what you're going to say takes up less space in the dialogue wheel than what they act like you're going to say. I don't know why they do that. It's so she stupid. Said, Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. Dumb. Was able to save her like, face. I don't see the reason for he it, to be honest. In an accident down by the docks. <clears throat> I don't see the reason. But yeah, Quiet, I agree with you. <clears throat> we tried to help this dude. I hope what I did was right. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I have no clue. I have no idea. Intoxication no idea. Organic Absolutely no clue. Whatsoever. Ah. What it okay. The one that what? Okay. Mrs. Sanders? She literally looks like a doll. She doesn't even look dead. She just looks what like a fucking doll. Tell me about her admission. Also, whoever we're playing right now, her name starts with a C. I forget it already because I'm trash with names. But she has a lot more emotion, like in her voice, than Pierce does. Not sure why, but she does. I did notice, and I like it more than Pierce because Pierce just sounds like the only time he sounds like he's like putting any kind of effort into what he's saying is like when he's in the middle of a fucking panic attack and he's freaking out because he just saw some fucked up shit. That's like the only time I'm like, yeah, you know, it seems like he has some emotion. This man dead. He dead. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's so 
unfair. Ew. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Elizabeth? You alright? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Pretty ass hospital, right? Why go through her? Hang in there. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she settled the problem. I see. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Everything all right, Dr. Colden? All is well, Elizabeth. Thank you. I was making sure the water wasn't cut off yet again. Thank God, no. The water's running. I have no desire to call Donovan for help. Come now. Don't let that witch sap your morale. I'm trying, Doctor. I'm trying. It's just that sometimes I imagine she shuts down the water herself just for the pleasure of harassing me. Her time is much too precious for these kind of petty games. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Weird. Like, just the tone. It's all about, like, the tone. If you are gonna sound like a bitch, then I don't wanna pick that dialogue option, you know what I mean? So, like, her being like, her time is way too trivial for these petty games. It's like, okay. Do you believe that, you fucking moron? <clears throat> Excuse me. Now where the fuck am I? Wait, what is this? It doesn't say. Locker room. <laughs> you fat. Fat. Event. That probably goes into the other room, don't it? This one? Bathroom for the men? Yeah, it probably goes in there. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. What does that mean? It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Oh, it's... okay. Okay, I understand. Kind of. Maybe. I don't know. I miss you. The doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. Arbitrates? Arbitrates? I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm reading. I'm not the. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't have a fucking idea. Um, this pseudoscientific work by. Kaiser Lombroso correlates an individual's morphology with his criminal predispositions. The seriousness of the study and the accuracy of the demonstrations can deceive an uninformed reader. Hmm. We are running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused it. Once again. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. 
We're running out of this medicine. Okay, my bad. <laughs> my bad. We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. Hmm. Interesting. It's sad because it seems like most people who work here, or at least the nurses, want good for people. But it's like the higher ups, bruh, they always just fucking everything I don't have up. Any business in the boiler room. They stay fucking shit up, bruh. It's wild. These people abusing their power. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of this shit. Reference book of medical sciences. Like a dictionary, this work references in alphabetical order all the medical sciences known and practiced in the modern world. For each of their entries, the major works and the names of the reference authorities are listed. Is that an apple? That's the shiniest motherfucking apple I've ever seen in my life. God damn. Bro, I'm just trying to look around and look at all this shit. I have little time for you, doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. This bitch. <laughs> this bitch. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Okay. I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Interesting. She's a bitch. Whatever. Like, I get it. Like, I get it that you're a bitch. I get it. I understand. Around still. Let's hope I can go through the administration office. Yeah, honey, you already know you can't. Hey, who are you? Surgical ward. <laughs> who are you, people? In theory, this is where we hang the key to the boiler room. <laughs> Dr. Fuller always keeps <coughs> his key with him. In theory. Storage room, pharmacy, washroom, surgical ward, his office, the boiler room. Dr. Colden, we need you at once in dormitory B. What is the problem? Mr. Evans seems to be having trouble with his IV. I've done an exam. Deborah is looking after him. And the family of Mrs. Harding is asking to see her medical file. I'll never understand why it's so hard to see patients' files around here. Rules are rules. See, with Dr. Fuller, he's in charge. Anyhow, they're still waiting, and I don't think they'll leave until they get what they want. Understood. Anything else? As a matter of fact, yes. A man has been brought up from the basement. I saw him, yes. It's always the same thing. They bring them up, 
without any explanation, with a multitude of self-inflicted injuries. We take care of the wounds, and then they leave. Each time, I feel like I'm sending them back to hell. Their affliction is not our responsibility. You cannot save everybody, Doctor. Doctor? I'll tend to it. Don't worry. This man, Edward Pierce, his file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? Strangely incomplete, and the detail on treatment is not given. It does not respect standard practice. That's us. We're Edward Pierce. If anybody didn't know that. Well, now you know. Now you know. Dr. Colden. Hmm. Yes, yes. Talking this way. Block B. Is this the family? This is the kitchen. Hi, yi, yi. Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Nasty as fuck. Watch out for the water, Doctor. Okay, we already talked to him. We already went in here, we did. Okay. You, doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctor. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Who is in there then? Why is there somebody in there? Lol. You see him standing around? Like what the what the hell? Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Please, the few it. Yeah, but I just want to look. Please. Ya motherfucker. Ya goddamn motherfucker can't even look at the goddamn books. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 1851. You want something? Um, uh, I would like some cookies right now if you got any. That's probably Ethan. Marie, I. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. You know you can't trust Fuller. I know. I didn't mean to but pick he that. The only doctor here. Yes, but since he treated your injuries, he is your referring doctor now. You're right. I shouldn't take the risk. Nothing would be prescribed to you that hasn't been approved by him. But I really need the treatment. What are you suffering from? I have nightmares. I don't even know what the fuck I picked. They keep me awake. To be honest. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. So many people have this affliction. 
It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be yes. related to Fuller's work? I don't know yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Dark Water is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. They've been fucking. Is everything all right, Ethan? Yeah, I just... I know I should go. I will work until late. Oh. All right. Aww. Little cuties. I don't know what the fuck I said to him. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patience here. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Where did my fiance go? No I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Oof. Oof. There's no way I'm leaving until I find what Fuller is hiding. It's a quiet little town. Days go by, steady as ever. I as wanted ever. more for myself, but... It's a quiet little okay. town. Days go by, steady as ever. Gentlemen, may I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Hardy. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything oh, since. Oh, she Gucci. I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. She's still recovering, but you may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. Interesting. She got an achievement. I got an achievement. I got an achievement. What is it? Hippocratic Oath. What the fuck? Heal all the patients. Okay, and then steam crashed. Okay, and then it came back. I love it. I love it so much. Wow. What a time to be alive. I mean, honestly, truly, truly iconic. Truly, truly amazing. I wonder how the fuck, like, why did we... We read that book, and then we just, like, swooned into this nurse's body. Very weird. Very, very weird. Shroom. Alright, this is where I am. Interesting. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. I read it. Dr. Colden. Well, we in no. It doesn't seem like it. In theory. This is where we hang the key to the boiler room. This man, Edward Pierce, his file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? Why there a vent all the way to fuck up there? How am I climbing that shit, bud? Alright. Okay. Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Ay, ay, ay. I want some pizza. Where did my fiance go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with I don't work. get why they have us waiting so long. I want it's some pizza. P I Z Z A. Give me pizza. P I Z Z A. 
Was ein Pizza. B I Z Z A. Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. That's kind of weird. But I don't know whether that's a good or a bad thing, to be honest. P I Z Z A. I wonder now. Now do I get the fucking boiler room key? Now do I need it? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, now I have it. Okay. The key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Um. Okay. What do I want to do? I guess I'll talk to Bradley. And pay attention to what I fucking say this time, retard. Me talking to myself. Ethan. Marie, I... Marie. I Tell me your symptoms. I have headaches. And I can't sleep. Do you suffer from insomnia? No. Look. I don't want you to laugh at me. Ethan, if you don't trust me, then who? I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're no. It's like I'm okay. So many. It's I don't know everyone and don't really. We don't oh, okay. take care. You too. Same shit. Same shit. Little tiny bits of dialogue that are different, but same shit. Is everything? Yeah. I will. Oh. He said, "All right. If you're gonna work late, then I guess I come with you." Or I can wait. I don't want to fucking fuck up Elizabeth's life. Gentlemen, where she? I tended her blood. Uh, she... Oh. Okay. Thank you again. I gotta fuck up Elizabeth's life. Like she not already having the worst time of her fucking life. Over here. Over here. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. <laughs> it's so unfair. Everything all right? All is well, Elizabeth. Thank God. Okay. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you. Hmm. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Holy shit, it is disgusting in here. Yikes. Who pooped all over the place? <laughs> Fucking A. Sorry, Elizabeth. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. She's like, ah, you gonna get a hernia, girl? Just use a fucking tool, the fuck? What the hell? Am I gonna get ganked? Okay. Find a tool. Oh, she finally done. Hell yeah. I see that. Is that it? Um. <laughs> I go 
glasses are dirty and I want to shoot myself. Let's hope I can go through the administration office. I have little time for you, Doctor. Hmm. You'll find out. I feel like I normally like in a game you come like when you come across the problem, there's like two different ways to solve it. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who It's temperamental. But it seems this is the only way to do this one, I guess. How else would you be able to distract Donovan? I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. <laughs> yeah. Go back to Elizabeth. Oof. Sorry about that, fam. I don't know what the fuck noise that was, but that wasn't for my game. Real life wild. Real life wildin'. Dead ass. Everything all right, Ethan? Yeah, I just I will. Oh. What are you cleaning up, Ovi? What happened? Do you want something? <laughs> Thank you again, Doc. Okay. She's smoking in here, bitch. Our food is in. Oh, that's Elizabeth. Okay, never mind. Kisses. Wait, that looked like Elizabeth. I don't know if it was her. It looked like her. That's probably a tool I could have used. Whatever. Doctor Colden. It's temperamental. If I understand correctly. Sorry. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. Poor girl. Jesus Christ. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. Mrs. Donovan? I'm busy. Oh god, we're gonna witness something that's gonna make me feel really guilty. Elizabeth, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. But it's about the water. What now? It's off. It's not my fault. Nothing is ever your fault. I told you to control the flow. Even if I know it's not your strong point. I've apologized a thousand times. I haven't counted that many. But then, unlike you, I don't have time to keep track. Please, Mrs. Donovan. I'm grateful to you for having kept me on despite that incident. I just need the water to be put back on. Otherwise, the bathroom will quickly become a nest of germs. Oh. Very well. I'll finish what I'm doing, and then I'll fix your blunders once more. Thank you, ma'am. Out of my sight. Go chatter with your colleagues. That's what you do best. Damn.
Um, I, like, she got hella freckles on her face. You're just an ugly fucking witch of a bitch ass fucking ugly ass bitch. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> fucking Lamel. Last. The missing files must be hidden here. Sometimes it's like you'll go so long and do so much without a save, but then you'll get one. It's like Stendhal syndrome. Of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. And you'll get one like every fucking two minutes. I'm just like, what the hell? Study of the Stendhal sy syndrome, a particularly rare mental illness. Subjects display mental disorders linked to an exposure to works of art. I'm trying to clean my glasses. Sorry, I'm having a rough time. It won't clean, and I just want it to clean. Just clean, please, you punk. Yeah, that didn't really work out well, but whatever. Whatevs. I love this music. I don't know if you guys can really hear it. That shit nice. It's very soft. <clears throat> you got a golden microscope. Something is wrong with these masks. It's some sort of puzzle. Oh, great. I love those. Do I just move them to the front? I've unlocked something. Patient files. I was right. Oof. Wait, I, I did it that easily? Ma'am, first try. Well, I mean, I don't know if that's... Wait, is this game that legit that people... What? Play it? What? Sorry, I don't understand. But what's up, McMoblin? How are you? Hawkins interview. Thought about one of the many psych, uh, psych analysis sessions he submitted Sarah Hawkins to. Hey, what's up? I don't really know what you're asking. Is this game that legit that people play it? Like, what? Usually mystery games on console don't get a large crowd. Well, I'm playing this on PC. But I have been, um, I've been hyped for this. I've wanted, i wanted to play it for a while. This and, um, The Sinking City, but this doesn't really have any combat in it. So, it's kind of casual, I guess. I like it. But how are you? How are you doing? This finger belonged to a woman. Why keep it here? What the hell? That's Sarah's fucking burnt shoe or whatever, isn't it? What the fuck? Why is Ethan on medication? Step at a time, I feel that. 
I feel that for sure. Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? Play a guy or a girl? No. You only play. Well, you. I'm. I'm in like chapter eight. There's fourteen chapters. You play. You play Pierce, who's this dude? But just in this chapter, I'm playing a girl. <laughs> but it's not really through. It's not really through like, oh, I'm playing her. It's like, oh, this is like a flashback, I guess. And I'm kind of seeing into her mind. I'm not like playing her as a character, if that makes sense. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Um. You're gonna get in trouble. He said, I am prepared. Let me look at the shoe already. Why does this art look like Bioshock? It takes place in the 1920s. Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? And it's a horror game, I guess. Has to do with deep sea creatures. Bioshock models. Yeah, the models aren't really um, where the game shines. It's more so the atmosphere. And like the lore. There we go. Of course. Sarah Hawkins is the connection. I must go back to the basement. Uh oh. Oh, and this is where she gets Pierce, I'm guessing. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I wanna go that way, you schmuck. You fucking schmuck. But yeah, I've been really excited for this. I should go another way. Fuck. It looks okay so far. I mean, okay. Like I said, I've been excited for it, so. But I know, like, what, I know what it's about. Like, it's like Vampire, like, I followed it. When was it announced? A while ago? I don't know. I know, like, last year. Um... Yeah, I don't know when it was announced, but I 
you think I... I don't know, I've been wanting to play it since, like, roughly the beginning of this year. I know for certain. But yeah, I have no idea when it was announced. Thank you, Ashley. I think we're done everything here. Let me go try to talk to some of the other nurses real quick. And see if they say anything to me. I don't think they will, but... We're running out of anyone. Can't make Donovan. Okay. We already talked to her. Our patients. We talked to her. Is he dead? Oh, okay. I thought he died. I was like, what the fuck? I can't talk to her. So what's the hype about Cthulhu? So many games about him or it. Um, well you could... <laughs> I mean, you... Just Google it. Just Google it. I don't know if I'm supposed to go There's through There's no here. way okay. I'm leaving until I find what Fuller is hiding. I can't really explain it. It's like it's Lovecraft. Like it's it's the unknown and Cthulhu himself. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Or itself is like a giant creature with an octopus for a face. It's him speci specifically Cthulhu. But, like, why people love Lovecraft is just because it's, like, the unknown. Like, the terror of the unknown. Anything is possible. It goes kind of past, like, supernatural. Hmm, like, space? No, not really. <laughs> Do you know who H.P. Lovecraft is? He wrote a lot of novels about, like, creatures. Like, for example, that are underwater, like, past, past what we know. Because if you think about it, like, we don't really know what's down there. So. No, not really. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> But that's okay. If it's not your thing, then that's fine. Hi. Ah. Hmm. I don't know about that right now. That was a little bit unfortunate. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. Or not. I mean, I would like to know. I feel like he is so much popularity. I can't really tell you because I don't know that much. So I'm not really a good source. That's why I just said <laughs> that's why I just said like Google HP Lovecraft because a bunch of shit will pop up that will probably be a much, much better source than myself. That's all. No, I have not read that. That sounds familiar, though. That person. Their name. I must go back to the basement. I know we got everything in here, right? Yeah. Yup, yup, yup manga series that's sort of like what you mentioned gotcha I should check it out cause like I don't watch anime or read manga but if I did it would be of like the violent like action type 
I think it's funny when people watch anime and they watch, like, drama. I mean, obviously that's what they prefer, but it's like... I don't know. That's just clearly not my thing, so... Obviously I don't get the attraction. It's not even jump scary, it's just so creepy that it shakes you deeply. Honestly, I doubt that. <clears throat> okay, that just goes to show that we're retards, or that I'm an idiot. You might be surprised. I don't think so. I'm like super, super desensitized. Like, there's like honestly absolutely nothing that gets to me. That's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. Yep. Great. If you're gonna Algernon. Shoot, at least have the decency to look me in the eye. Turn around. Slowly. Lovecraft doesn't oh, disturb thief. me. Oh, I swear I'll shoot. Yeah, Lovecraft, Lovecraft doesn't st disturb me. I just think it's fucking cool and it's interesting. But I don't, like... It doesn't, it definitely doesn't disturb me or creep me out or anything. Like, it's weird, but it's like... Whatever. Like I said, I'm super desensitized. But I'll check it out. Thank you. Hmm. Doesn't seem like I have a time limit. You're not a killer. It was Charles Hawkins. I've done nothing wrong. You're going to... Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead. No. He was here for a very specific item. Oof. Oh, no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Yes. Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? Really, I don't have enough cult occultism for that. When's the last time you saw something that creeped you out? I don't know. Probably when I was a kid. Maybe when I was like 10 or something. Probably younger than that. I mean, there's things that I look at and I'm like, that's creepy. But like, nothing gets to me. You know what I mean? Like, there's definitely some creepy shit that happens in this game. Or in other horror games I've played, but it's never like, oh, that makes me uneasy, or oh, like that. Maybe I need to put this game down because like this is too much. Like it's never, it's never like that. She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show? Allergy you? pill. Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. Oh, God. I don't know if I want to take him with us. I don't want this man to get bopped upside his fucking head. <clears throat> Why, what about you, Moblin, if you're still here? Excuse me.
excuse me. All right. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. I'm so sorry. Let's meet later at the Hawkins mansion. Now go. Rescue the doctor. Thank you, Drake. I mean, we took Bradley, so we might as well take him. Why am I back here? Riverside Institute. The book pro projected Pierce into the body of Dr. Colden. The detective watched helplessly as Bradley's friend carried out her inquiry. Confronted with the experiments of Fuller, she got into his office and discovered that the director of the Riverside Institute was hiding information on, if not the body of Sarah Hawkins, but she was discovered by Fuller. Pierce must save her before it's too late. Oh. Wait, how does this make sense? Isn't she supposed to be at the mansion? With Bradley? Oh, I'm confused. <clears throat> I pray that Colden really here okay I feel like I'm gonna probably get dicked by something wait this is chapter 9 right up to nine. Yeah. Okay. Inhabitants. Okay, Algernon Drake, 45 bookseller. Algernon Drake is the owner of the nameless bookstore and a friend of Sarah Hawkins. It would seem that the two of them were, were united in a common thirst for knowledge about the occult. He has a strange collection of parchments and books and spells, or books of spells, and he seems to know a lot about the island's clandestine activities. If I decide to explore the occult trail, he will be an excellent guide. Hmm. Okay. Riverside Institute. Through the eyes of Dr. Colden, I finally visited the Riverside Institute. The operating rooms and dormitories surround the pharmacy. Everything here has an air of respectability. Do the nurses really know, like Dr. Colden, what's going on in the cellars? What is sure is that the staff fear Fuller. It is perhaps this fear that prevents them questioning the vi val validity of a medical center of this size on such a small island. <laughs> Ascent. When they will have consumed the stellar flesh and survive the transformation closer than ever to their new master, they will enter his sleep of death and will only awaken to answer his call. They will be called the Awakened. Necronomicon by Abdul Alhazred. Hazred? Cthulhu. Okay. Did I unlock this because I have more skill with the occultism? I have no fucking idea. I have ten. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay. Reading the Necronomicon. Pierce has read the Necronomicon drawn by the whispering of the accursed 
book, he forced the bookseller's safe, touched the skin binding, and deciphered the last words of the crazed Abdul. As if as an answer to the questions that Pierce was asking himself, the book sucked in his mind and projected it into the body of Colden. Silent witness to excuse me, his own investigation, he followed her steps down into the cellars of the Riverside Institute and her confrontation with Fuller. Returned to his own body, Pierce slowly comes to understand that his investigation is taking him into unknown territory. The words of the Necronomicon still echo in his mind. Will he ever forget that horrifying read? Uh, no. Probably not. Probably not. Okay, I don't know what the fuck that says, but some shit about Cthulhu. Elder Sign. Men discovered a... Protective symbol so powerful that it could remove them from the gaze of creatures of the myth. They carved it into their jewels, painted it on the doors of their houses, and embroidered it on the clothing of their children. Later, they understood that it could even exercise its power on the doors of the sunken city. Hmm. Interesting. Necronomicon. The words that follow are not really mine. They were communicated to me in my dreams and trances by the greatest minds in the cosmos. I take advantage of the, or of these moments of lucidity that grow ever shorter to write down these few scraps from the immense knowledge that they send crashing against my broken mind night after night. I can only leave these crumbs of knowledge to the world in the hope that reading them will guide men, but I already fear that unholy words will stain the soul of whoever dares open this accursed collection, because just like prisoners whose confessions were written on their own skins, I shall protect my heritage beyond the ages. High Priest The call cannot be made without a guide. The guide does not have to see or to hear. He is fully committed to the case or the cause of the great old one that he serves. He will find the oracle, he will pursue the true seeker. He will neither reveal nor explain, he will observe, and when the stars align and the day of awakening arrives, he will take his place and lead the call. Okay, so that's the mask we saw, like, in chapter 2 or whatever. Interesting. Very interesting. Fuller's notes, if the evidence garnered in the Hawkins drawing room raises questions as to what became of the parents' bodies, the discoveries of Colden in the office of Fuller reinforce this conviction. Sarah Hawkins was moved from the crime scene by none other, th not, none other than Dr. Fuller. Even more significant, the director of the Riverside Institute obviously had a strong obsession with the artist. The content the content of the cylinders recorded by the doctor proves his interest in the young painter. Summaries of psychoanalysis se sessions as well as blood tests confirm the fact. In one of the cylinders, Puller clearly states that he was he has hidden the body and the personal effects of one of his patients. He weird. Basically, TLDR, he weird. I don't know what to level up. Ay, ay, ay. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's seven. Ten. I could do both of these and that would be ten. Excuse me. Okay, Drake will help me in my investigation. He'll meet me in the Hawkins man mansion after gathering up his things. In the meantime, I've got to save Colden. I hope I can save her, but I don't fucking know. Investigation. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I found volume one. Hell yeah. Reverend Wick 
Woods' wife, her husband John, built the first Hawkins home called Hilltop at the end of the 17th century. They were among the first white colonists of the island. The previous inhabitants disappeared mysteriously three centuries earlier. An old diary. Oof, interesting. How old is Fuller, really? <laughs> Mad old. Yes, I'll read the book. Hell yeah, give me that shit. Um, this collection catalogs and classifies creatures that I have never heard of. Divinities from the stars, creatures capable of traveling from one dimension to another. It presents itself as the reference work of the beastry of the myth. Without giving details... Wait, didn't I read this already? Yeah, yeah, whisper, whisper. Bro. And what else? And what else? What the... Fuller, too. Is here, like in the vision. Coleman came this way. Obviously, why else would the hell would you come here, my man's? Right. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must find her. Son of a bitch. Everything locked, bro. What the hell? Oh, yeah. I hope Elizabeth is okay. <laughs> yucky. Yucky, yucky. God. My mans. I was so loud. Was that really necessary? I just wanted to look around. How could you, you fucking maniac? How dare you? I trusted you to look around, my mans. Come on. You're killing me. The Scylla is here. Like in the vision. Colden came this way. What the fuck? The flame. Lamau. Yikes. Wow. 
want the fuller too. Right. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must find her. I probably can't go anywhere else. Probably dumb to reload, but I wanted to just to check. Just to check. Excuse me? Uh, hello, excuse me? Uh, excuse me? Oh my god! What, what is happening to me? Okay, interesting. I'm supposed to follow? The trail? Am I supposed to be making note of these signs or whatever? I want to look around the boy, please. What's that? It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. What happened? Something has changed, but what? things on the thing, on the thing, on the thing. Okay, so I see. Now if I go back, will that door be open? Yes. Before I do that, I want to see something. Okay, I see. Okie dokie, I see, I see. That's cool how that works. Where have I seen this symbol? Okay. 
Okay, my friend. I'm supposed to use the... Okay. Interesting. This is interesting. I'm just kind of like... Try trying to take my time so I can kind of like decipher what's happening and put it together in my head because I'm so slow. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is cool. I like this. This is weird, but it's cool as fuck. Why are you freaking out? Sorry, something just fell in my room. <laughs> Randomly, that was funny. <clears throat> Who's that little thing out there? I wanna see that shit! What the hell? Suck it up, I guess. Yeah, suck this shit up. But I have to do it with the... Yeah, I have to do it with the other one. Or no, I got it. Destiny is <laughs> trapped you. Use it on there, on you there. Here. Or there. I don't know what makes a difference. Oh shit. Is he gonna give me the dick? If I get too close to him. Oh, I have to stay out of the dark, I guess. <laughs> okay. Isn't there another one that I can open? This 
probably the same thing, ain't it? Uh oh. You okay, fam? You go, G. You go, G. It's okay. There you go. You're good. You are confronting powers that surpass you. What does this one do? Is this one for? It's just so you can go through without consuming your light, I guess? I don't know. I don't really understand that. Who the fuck is calling? Wee oui, wee. Oui. Okay, so it's for opening these types of doors. But that's where I, isn't that where I started? Boy, what the hell? I already missed on whatever the fuck that was. It's probably a book. I don't understand. Sorry. Really, dude? Fucking mouse. Triggered. 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 Okay. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wonder if. Okay. Oh my god. 
It didn't even scare me. Like, the monster itself didn't even scare me. It's just that he jumped fucking back. That scared the shit out of me. Him jumping. Hello, mouse. Can you please? Can we? My mans. You're really not helping me. Ouch. Right now. Fuck. I don't get fuel from that. Shit on a dick. Give me fuel, please. I don't want to die. Okay, great. Thank you for this. Can I please? Hello, sir. Really? If I die and have to fucking do this shit all over again, I'm gonna fucking scream. Okay, great. Okay, fucking excellent. Okay, yeah, just kill me. Yeah, thanks, I guess. This was kind of cool, like, this was cool at first, but like... The fact that this is a whole ass segment you have to do kind of decreases how how cool it was. You feel me? Like it's no longer cool because you have to keep doing it. Like at first it was cool, but now it's like you have to follow this shit throughout the whole fucking map and I'm just like this is significantly less cool than it was because of this. Which is kind of whack, to be honest, but whatever. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shistin. Interesting. <laughs> oh, it's here. Okay, I didn't see that. I'm fucking blind, baby. Not in there. No. At least it's saved. Ay, ay, ay. Excuse me. I know that's the way I'm supposed to go. Okay, rip. Rip 
all. Hear that bitch breathing. What the hell? All right, I'll just go do this then. It looks like things are back to normal. Back to normal. Right, sweetie. I will be right back a second. One sec.
I am back. Sorry that took so long. I was like starving. I felt like a fucking prune in my chair. So I had to go get something to eat. So I just made some sandwiches. But I'm back. I like these colors. Nice aqua marine kind of. I hope we can save her. Even if she's shitty, even if she's a bad person, it doesn't seem like she is, but even if she is. What the fuck? Okay, now this is just evil, the, the evil within, basically. Okay. It's just a loop. What's going on? It never ends. Hey, that's us. Rip. Hold it. What's going on? Why is everyone here so late? That bitch dead. She dead as fuck. Where did I get that gun? Excuse me? What the hell is going on? I am tripping balls.
when you just want to smoke but your shit get laced. You good? What's up, Ken? It was bad, man. Bradley is really, really gonna be mad at us. If he even alive, because honestly, I don't even know if he's alive. I don't know what the hell going on. <clears throat> Interesting. We're gonna have to fight the Shambler again, probably. Oh, damn, that's cool. Sarah. Or we think it's Sarah. The game is quiet. gave him the gold and I, the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? I'm here, but no. No. Let's get you out of here. He comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's is of the oldest green. A violent living, vibrant. A sea green, maybe. No. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. Oh, shit. Valid s sanity requirements? Oh, shit. That's fucking cool. I have seen the same color. It was not as vivid as you said. A pale copy. A discarded spawn. Do you know what it was? Tell me. I can't. We should not call his name. Terrible. Terrible consequences. <sighs> All right. Come with me. He will know. He will find us. One more reason to hurry. Have I seen you before? 
Can you walk? Maybe. Then let's go before your husband finds us. Oh. I was in your studio. You sure? What? You painted me. That's... What is going on? Mamma mia. Hey, at least we can replace the bitch that just died <laughs> with another bitch who's maybe may alive, maybe not. Dude, who has any kind of idea? Not me. You mean the guards? Hi, Ford, how are you? Can she sit tight while I fucking look around, please? Jesus Christ. She's over there. It is really cool. I like it a lot. Okay. Isn't a problem. My proving or difficult it shouldn't exist. The roads lead everywhere. The symbols must disappear. Presence the shambler must get out. Sarah Hawkins is alive after Colden. Everything is mixed up. The corridors grow longer. There was his voice, or there is this voice, and all this blood coming out of abandoned cells. I follow it. She is here. She isn't dead. This man losing his goddamn mind. Poor motherfucker. Me. <clears throat> Holy shit, we lost so much of our sanity. Trapped in- That's all the sanity we have left. Holy shit, that's all we have left. Is the death of cold an hallucination or is it the soul of flesh? Soul flash of truth in the slow descent into madness that Edward Pierce's mind is undergoing. There, a detective gained entry to the Riverside Institute. Um, in order to help the doctor, immediately attacked by the Shambler, he fled through a transmuted, transmuted hospital whose architecture respected no physical laws. His his wanderings led him to an operating room where his confrontation with Fuller came to an end when Colden's corpse rose up to attack Pierce. The detective thinks that he's got a grip on himself, but he now knows that death and madness lie in his path. His sanity was severely affected by this new ordeal. The Cost of Truth While Pierce's sanity is growing dangerously weaker, his increased sensitivity to the occult opens new ways for him. On rare occasions, he is now able to unearth hidden truths when he speaks to the inhabitants of the island. As with everything connected with the myth, using it comes at a cost. That's fucking cool. Yeah, we have so little left. That's fucking dope. Deceased. Too late to free Colden from the clutches of Fuller. Just before I found her body in the hands of the doctor, she'd come to see me to give me a last mes message. I don't know if I'm going crazy, but I believe that her words were full of truth. A live prisoner of the Riverside Institute, Charles Hawkins and Dr. Fuller seem to have con- con- cannot- can I don't know, to hide her from the world. She seems to be very affected by the tragedies that have struck her family, but I detect a fighting spirit in this woman that I would n better not underestimate. She's a survivor. Okay. Okay. 
What the? Oh no. She doesn't seem to be here. Just you wait. Just you wait. Okay. Okay. Interesting. It was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. What the? Oh no. This way. Yeah. Go. Okay. Okay. Run. Yes. It's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it. What? That deny is long. I don't know. I don't know. Just a lot's happening. It's probably not long at all. Be better off finding a tool. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Yeah. All right. That should do it. Let's move. That's a cultist? No, that's the dude, Charles. I'm your puppet no more. You bastard. What the hell am I gonna do? The fuck? You're my wife. My wife. You owe me obedience. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ugly. I am married. Leave her alone. We're leaving this crazy island. She's dead. We're both dead. We're done. We're done, so it's over. Good night. You are going nowhere. Don't get between me and my wife. <clears throat> I came here to figure out why she died, you dumbass. You dumbass boy. Nobody tells me what to do with my wife. Whoa. Domestic abuse is not cute. Pump smash. Whoa, partner. Chill. Domestic abuse, what face? Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Why should I let you take her away when I could snap your neck? 
I've been choking for like two minutes over here. Yeah, same. After the death of Colden, Pierce, victim of hallucinations, advanced inside the Riverside Institute to the point of discovering Sarah Hawkins alive, prisoner of Dr. Fuller. The last confrontation between Charles Hawkins and his wife had revealed that the man under his monstrous appearance tried to protect her from the influence of the myth. He warned Pierce, if Sarah succumbs to the lure of the cult, she will lose all free will, but allowing the cult to bring its plan to fruition, summon an ancient and evil god. Henceforth, Pierce must know more about Sarah Hawkins' intentions and find a way to protect her. Uh-uh. This is the evil ending, honey. Sorry. Catch me on my nice the playthrough. should have to bury their child. Knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. Anything? What the fuck? Let's chill out. My work was what lured me here in the first place. What is happening with her face? Showing me things. Things I never should have painted. Things 
Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? Jesus Christ. An abuser? <laughs> I took care of you. Saved you from your miserable life. Ah! Uh, find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. Oh, he was gonna set it on fire. You're not going anywhere. <clears throat> oh, it was the oil. You are mine. Yikes. Silas, bruh. But Silas knew she was alive. Silas knew she didn't die in there. Simon. Come on. It's over now. It ain't over. It ain't over. I mean, we knew. We knew what happened. We figured that shit out in like chapter two. <laughs> like, we figured that out a minute ago. <laughs> All right. All right, we got even. Okay, we're psychotic. There is a secret, a forgotten secret, so old and terrifying, which is only divulged in the blasphemous pages of lost homes or whispered during forgotten and outlawed rituals. We are not children of providence. You know the cruel and awful truth, and you have seen the frightening face of reality. Okay, great. Um, Charles Hawkins. Pierce and Sarah Hawkins confronted the monster that Charles Hawkins had turned into. The man retained nothing human, tentacles replaced one of his arms, his face bore the signs of an unfinished mutation, and he was endowed with superhuman strength. He was on the point of strangling Pierce when Sarah Hawkins drove a poker into his throat. Pierce finished him off with an axe. This fight to the death left Pierce physically and mentally scarred. <clears throat> He did. Well, it acts like... Okay, it doesn't say he's dead. It only says he's dead, he's dead, and she's dead. So he might be alive still. We don't know. I guess, unless it updates and tells me that we do know. In which case... We know. I have the poker still. I don't know why I have that, but okay. Welp, yep, welp indeed. Welp indeed. Okay. We got out, but Charles Hawkins caught us. Completely changed. Nothing human left. He's dead. We killed him. Yeah, I don't know about that. Hawkins Manor. Okay, is this... This is the same night. What does she really know? What have they done to her? Her husband said that she was dangerous. Sarah Hawkins, she looks crazy. Like me. <laughs> Algernon! Where's Bradley? 
What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? We're still on chapter 9. What the fuck? It's during the day, apparently. Sarah, do you think you could maybe call your father and tell him that you're alive, please? You gotta change the stream title? No, I don't. I don't have to change it every time I advance a chapter. That's annoying as fuck. Is that Bradley? Oh, Bradley, bro. I'm sorry. Oh, I can't talk to him. Wait, let me look around first. I'd be better off if I went to see the others. Is Silas? I guess Silas is going to be in here, wouldn't he? Be in here? <laughs> Her father should be called. I mean, come on, for fuck's sake. She's alive, like... We can tell him. He's the one who brought us the painting in the first place. So, I think we can tell him what kind of what's going on. Or at least let him inform him that his fucking daughter's alive. Like, what the hell? You need to know that shit. <laughs> this shit caved in down here. Damn it. The entrance to the tunnel has been buried following the cave-in. But at least I didn't dream it. Yep, but how the fuck did Bradley survive, my mans? Like, what? What the hell? <laughs> What's real? What's fake? I don't fucking know. God damn. I just want to see what's different. I love the mansion like this. During the morning, it's beautiful. <laughs> we look at all this stuff again. Much nicer and uh, and during the day. Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? Oh, shit. Okay, 
what else? Nothing else? Just that? What kind of ritual was she preparing? Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. How did she survive her encounter with the Shambler? How did she react? Was she afraid? I mean, God, you have that shit charging to you. What the fuck do you, like, hello? Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. He busted through. All right, let me read that. Um, Sarah Hawkins has read the ne Necronomicon. Was she haunted by the book? She must have looked in it to find a way to get rid of the Shambler. Each time this woman gets close to the occult, a catastrophe occurs. I don't know if she really has any power, but I must shelter her from all this madness. Why? Why us? Why up oh, there's our sanity? Sarah Hawkins ritual. In the Necronomicon endowed with its is the Necronomicon endowed with its own conscious own conscience. While investigating the Hawkins mansion, Pierce came into a con came into contact with a resid residual image of the lost book. The work is so powerful that even the memory of it is enough for the detective to lose some sanity. Pierce is not the only person to have read it, as he suspected Sarah Hawkins also studied it. Here, I'll change my title for you. Ken, if you're still in here. Ya punk. <laughs> Chapter 9. There you go. Bada boom, bada bing. I'm here. I changed it for you. Are you happy? I hope so. I really hope so. Failed incantation. In Sarah Hawkins' office, a circle decorated with unknown symbols surrounded by partly consumed candles bear witness to the artist's occult activities in the middle of tangible proof, upturned easel, easel broken bolt, mark left on floor by a beast, new residual Images arrived to disturb the reconstruction. The Necronomicon appeared on the floor, probably because Sarah Hawkins sought the knowledge required to carry out her rite within its pages. It was, no doubt, a recite of revocation. 
because the Shambler was present. The mark on the floor does not lie. There is no other creature on the earth capable of making anything like it. Whatever Sarah Hawkins tried to do, it failed, and the state of the room accentuates the words of her dead husband. She must never again come near occult forces. Well, that's a good thing that I fucking talked to her about it, huh? Jesus Christ. Good thing I'm doing the fucking evil playthrough or whatever. Embrace the insanity. He got what? What is that? Six? Six more? I don't know if he has enough sanity for six more. But I want to try to get all of them. That'd be cool. Cool AF. I opened these. I opened that. I opened it all. Oof. This is Simon's room. Yep. Weird how his drawings aren't here anymore. Oh, they're on the ground. Weird. I more to do. This is her bedroom. This is the gallery where we first. This is where the cultist appeared and stole the painting of what's his face, Pierce. Still nothing in here to look at or fucking observe or whatever. I guess. Oof, I guess. I'm sorry. Fuck. Um, I'm sick. How are you, Bradley? Ah, it's you, Pierce. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, oh Dr. my Cole. God, he doesn't even know. Have you had any news? Oh, fuck. I'm doing this because I care about you, Bradley. I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? I'm not sure what happened. But I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... You sure that you've got nothing to do with it? If she hadn't tried to help you, she might still be alive. I'm sorry. Truly. 
It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? Oh, God. Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck does that shit say? Hello? What the hell? One sec. It says click me. I don't know about that. I want to. I want to ask him about it because I feel like. Oh, fuck. You and Doctor Colden were close, from what I saw. Yeah, you can say that. We've known each other for some time now. <laughs> well, let's say that I was sweet on her the first day that I saw her. Did she share these feelings? Of course. I think so, but I'm not sure. We weren't very good at expressing that sort of thing, but but we enjoyed spending time together. In any case, I won't let her death go unpunished. Have no fear, Bradley. Dr. Fuller will not escape the clutches of destiny for long. Sooner or later, he will be judged for what he has done. You just need to have faith. What are you talking about? <laughs> What's this story of destiny? No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to wait for some mystical intervention. I'll take care of him. Myself. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through. Otherwise, Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh... The voice of reason, Pierce. As always. Damn, but it didn't give me the thing. Whoops. It didn't do the thing, because normally when you make, like, a decision like that... Like, the occultist decision... It'll add to your like your sanity. His sanity will drop. I thought it was gonna be some morbid shit, but we were just like, think clearly now. And I was just like, dude. I prefer to be alone. Dude, where's the morbid shit? You feel me? I'm trying to say some shit like. Yeah, let's rip out his fucking legs and tie them and sew them to his head or something fucking weird and scary. But I'm just like, um, fate will take care of him for us. Like, what? Hello? Excuse me, that don't help. The fuck? Mr. Pierce, we were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? Hey, talk to me, buddy. This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. Like, you literally told him to come here, Pierce, you fucking moron. Like, my mans. Hurry up. Hurry up. I want you to get there so I can talk to you. He said, come with us. We need your help. This ain't his office, cuz. Okay, now, you got some shit written all over you goddamn arms. 
and I want to know what it is. And also, why you're so, so white, dude. You look like you're dead. Like, cold, like, cold white. Like, dead cold white, bro. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Clean. <clears throat> I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. Your face. You feel guilty. You and Drake are up to something. Charles Hawkins is dead. It's because of the Wanderer. There is a cult on Dark I saw everything. The tunnels under your house. The rituals. <coughs> the secret me. society. I must get you out of its reach. I know how dangerous they can be to me. But first, there's the Wanderer. I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No, you're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. Oof. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. Well, sweetie. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't doing that. We summoning our octopus daddy. It's gonna happen. That's why I'm trying to f experience all this fucked up shit and get mass occultism. Cause we and we losing all our sanity so we can summon that octopus daddy. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, Sarah. I'm just you're on the wrong playthrough, baby. Let's become mad together, shall we? I'm already here. What's up, Cthulhu's dick? You can't give up. Even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't... I let won't let you go. you go? What the fuck? What? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks, and we may all survive this battle. All right. I'll help you. Okay. Bradley knows about Colden. Yeah, I would rather... See, I get it. When you care about people, you want to protect them from the viciousness that is the world. But you do absolutely no good by protecting them. You do absolutely no good by sheltering them from evil, sheltering them from wickedness. You, there's nothing to gain from lying to protect people. It doesn't matter how much you care about them. Like, I'm not talking about, like, for this game, but just, like, in general, like, in real life, in real situations. Nothing good comes from lying to people to protect them. It's just the truth. Like, just tell them the truth. They could hate you. They could fucking hate your guts. They could blame you. They could think that you're responsible. But that's not, like... Like, you have no right as a person. Especially if you want to act like you care about somebody... If you care about them so much, you would give them the truth, regardless of how hurtful and awful it was. You should want the best for people. You know what I mean? So it, it doesn't make a difference how hurtful something is. Plus, it's like, if that person ever finds out that what you're saying to them um isn't the truth like if they find out oh like you lied to me because you wanted to protect me like they'll get even more fucking offended so it's like you might as well just tell them the truth from the get-go 
I'll leave me back. Let me rot. I'm going to fix my interwebs. Okay, good luck, Cthulhu's dick. I hope that you were able to fix it. Uh, she won't leave Darkwater, not before having killed the Shambler. This is madness. Drake might know something. He spoke about protecting her. He's waiting for me in Charles Hawkins' office. And now it's deceased. He tried one last time to challenge the wishes of Sarah Haw Hawkins, and he is dead. This time there is no coming back. Although I condemn the actions of this man, in a certain way I understand his motives. He was ready to do anything to protect his wife. His abandonment of the cult allowed us to flee the Riverside Institute and to learn more about the threat that was weighing upon the mind of Sarah Hawkins. Here's the thing, though, dude. I get it you want to protect your wife, but grabbing her by the arm in front of your kid and then accidentally setting the entire house on fire and killing your child uh, I don't really think that's gonna really help anything you feel me I mean that's just my common sense but yeah sorry 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 Oof, but this place is still beautiful as fuck. I'm a little shook. I prefer to be alone. Poor Bradley, man. Our homie, he don't deserve that. Office is downstairs. What am I doing? <clears throat> what am I doing? Be better off if I went I'm to really see curious office. as to where Silas is like he's outside the manor right protecting it so he should be in here like why aren't we involving him it's just weird to be honest it's, just, it's really weird <laughs> like okay you don't want to come back to Boston can you at least call your father and tell him that you're okay? And he can come here and help us? Or maybe, I don't know, like, fuck, I don't know if he, she doesn't want to, like, call him because she doesn't want him to get involved, but it's like, yeah, but if you die, your daddy gonna be really mad at me that you were alive and then you died again and I didn't fill him in on any of it. Like, yikes. Excuse me. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. <laughs> Oof. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something. An amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing could? with forces that by far surpass what your <laughs> what intellect can process. Feel free My to ask me any will... question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? I see that you are interested in my precious book. It is the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce, written by Abdul Alhazri. It is the answer to many a question. That is why it's so highly valued. Yes, and even though it is a copy, given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic Welcome University, back. the work remains very powerful. I understand better why you keep it in a safe. dagger with a strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was me. <laughs> Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger. 
But I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. I've never read the books. I mean that thing could come back. Yes, that is why I am looking for a more permanent solution. I'll get to them eventually. It must never come back. This creature, the Shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift, a connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality, and we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. Heretic, you dare play my game, but not read my books. Yeah, I don't think, um, the people behind this game are the same people who wrote the books, but you try. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it. But you for think? that, I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden I amulet, cry about it. bearing very ancient inscriptions <laughs> and an elder sign at its center. A star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find this it. This fucking bitch. I don't bitch. want it to disappear again. Sketch of a bust. I've already seen this. Also, we have a tattoo on our arm. What the fuck? What the fuck that a tattoo of? What the hell that shit say? I wanna know what that says. Ah, it's you again. Yes, I've bothered you. I'm to ask you questions. Oh, okay. That's all I wanted to know. All in good. Never mind. Oof. This is upstairs. <clears throat> Maybe the gallery. I don't quite remember. Pretty sure it's upstairs though. You gonna call your father? Or talk to fucking Simus or whatever the fuck his name is. I prefer to be alone. Winchester. Silas Winchester. I think that's what it's called. What he's called. Oof. No, never mind. That's what it is. The sketch must guide me to the artifact concealed by. Concealed. By Charles Hawkins, where have I already seen it? Um, I remember this. Okay, I know where this is.
This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. Praise with the Elder Sign. Drake calls it the key of Riley. Firmly believes that this artifact is of great power. Okay. Whoa. What the hell? Okie dokie. My poor sanity. Okay. Drake maintains that it can repel the forces of the great old ones and, the, and lock the doors to the undersea city of Relay. I don't know. I see an ugly solid gold medallion engraved with the same symbol that repulsed Charles Hawkins in the nameless bookstore. It remains to be seen if it can really protect Sarah Hawkins. We'll just give it to her anyway. What the fuck? Who cares? Just give that shit to her. The fuck? Show the amulet to Drake. Just give it to Sarah, you bum. Back. 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 My bad. Well. Ah, uh, it's you again. Yes, it is me. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. What the fuck? Uh, it's you again. Okay. I wish we could talk to him about more stuff. All, all in. Excuse me. <laughs> all right. Jake thinks that Charles Hawkins is hidden amulet in the mansion. Okay. Okay, get my hands on it, at least the amulet, blah, blah, blah. I have the amulet, the symbol, it's the same as the one on the dagger in Sanders' cell, Drake's safe. The other sign, it is powerful, we might make it, I must show it to Drake. Why is she over there? It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand. I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Here. Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley, you take care of Sarah. I will deal with that. You sure? All right. What the hell? <laughs> I've been hearing about you a lot lately. Who are you? And where are your lips? You enjoy causing trouble. <laughs> nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? Why am I going I to don't jail? Care about your stories. Save them for the judge. We base our investigation <laughs> and testimony. <laughs> you might want to try that next time. Since when? Since when? 
when? Bitch, since when? In what world? Honey. In what world? Dark water police station. With the help of Algernon, Drake Pierce has obtained an annually supposed to protect her against the evil powers that covet her. Painter told her, desire, track, kill, dimensional shambler in order to atone for her sin. Before Pierce could stop her, he was arrested by some fucking pigs. Oink, oink. Was that phone floating? <laughs> you know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. Why I am I in prison? It that you've been what the hell? In a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Dark Water. Entering private property twice. Aggression, insulting behavior, and to top it all, Arson. I am ready to cooperate with him. Truth comes at a cost. He is in no position to lecture me. With all the liquor that is openly on sale in the middle of prohibition, do you really want me to believe that you're enforcing the law? Enough of that. You're not going to tell me how to do my job. I would like to point out that it is you, not me, who is behind bars. Technically... Technically speaking, sweetie, there are bars in front of me, which you are ones. behind. Just want to clarify. What's going on right now that are so much more serious than what you accuse me of. Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? Why can't we hit him with some fucking occultism symbols that, like, put a curse on him? Like, some fucking voodoo shit. Like, that would be dope. I don't trust you, and also, you're ugly, so I'm not going to tell you anything. Um, maybe this. You'd be better off taking an interest in Dr. Fuller. The experiments he carries out on his patients are as inhuman as they are illegal. And when Dr. Colden wanted to put a stop to it, she too went under the knife. What are you talking about? Nobody's reported any wrongdoings. <laughs> Dr. Fuller is a man who is as much respected and admired on the island as he is in his profession. Okay, sweetie. It seems like you've got a grievance against him. Is that why you set fire to his institute? I'm admitting nothing at all. Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. I hope that you'll make the right choice. I hope that you will eat my ass. Eat my entire ass. My man's. All good. It end. Um. Truth comes Listen, at a cost. Listen, in my line of business, we are obliged to overstep certain limits. We're not just talking about illegal surveillance. You were being accused of serious crimes. So. There's nothing serious in what you've said, <laughs> and you've got no proof that I started the fire. <laughs> Don't you worry. I'll find some. That's not how this <laughs> works. That's not how this works. You've been accused of a lot of crimes, so we're gonna arrest you. You have no proof. Don't worry, I'll find some. What the fuck? The 1920s, lol. Well. things are happening on this island. Yeah? No point wasting my time. You believe me anyway. And you would be entirely correct. I don't like your prying line of work. PIs sticking their nose into things that aren't their concern. Sorry, I do your job better than you, you Penny. Stay mad. Stay jealous, bitch. I hope that you'll make the right choice and confess to everything. It would be as unpleasant for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more advanced questioning. Oh, no, not torture. No Good night, Mr. Pierce. Not torture. Oh, gee willikers. What will I do?
Okay. I am in jail. Thanks to the local policeman's incompetence. They claim they have witnesses who recognize me as the Riverside Institute's arsonist. I don't know what's happening back at the Hawk Hawkins mansion while I'm here. Well, we've... Okay. It's still the same day, apparently. Police station on Darkwater is in the image of those that occupy it. Cramped, neat, and tidy, and totally amateur. I'm the only one occupying a cell, but it's not surprising when you see the collusion between the police and the bootleggers, who no doubt supply them with whiskey. I must find a way out of this hole. Oof, nice. Nice, nice. We're in jail, boys. Mr. Pierce. <gasps> the truth is Daddy! <laughs> Someone say torture? Hell yeah, but not the not the sexy kind. Who's there? Yes! 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 Wait a second. Wait a wait, wait! Hello? Don't drown me. I am the one men named Leviathan. Yes! Not because of the scale of my terrestrial form, but as a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge, which I came to share with you, human. Okay, okay, I'm listening. I'm listening. Oh, wait, I can't breathe. Do not struggle. Take me. You will not be able to speak or escape. Calm down, sweetie. Try to speak. Struggle. Hmm. Submit. Hmm. Excellent. Your mind has begun to expand. Your dreams have been gently shepherded by the being Oh! Oracle. I'm excited! But it is your curiosity and your fate that have led you up to this moment. You are here to accept the knowledge and follow the path that leads to your freedom. This is an offer that the likes of you, particularly those with such rare characteristics, cannot refuse. The more you human spirit to make it able to receive the truth, the closer you will come to embrace his power. Where is the Oracle, Truth Seeker? Would you like to see her? Can I start killing people now? Where is the Oracle? Is she not the very object? Oh, Sarah Hawkins. I'll let you see for yourself. But do not forget. Your fate has already been written. Yeah, I know. I have a destiny. Our paths shall cross again, truth seeker. You know the risk, Sarah. If you happen to use your powers again, you you may lose more than your life. It is not about me, but innocent lives. I hope that your sources are reliable. The bootleggers. How is Pierce? If the dimensional shambler is to appear, he will do it here. <gasps> the shambler. I knew it. No. 
Not again. Oh, we're playing. Are we gonna play as her? Whoa, hell yeah! Fuck yeah. Algernon, come back! Okay. Abandoned mine. This is the same day. They call it Leviathan. The being who has been talking to me since my arrival here. I was in my cell. He appeared and talked about Sarah Hawkins and how I badly wanted to see what she was up to. What has he done to me? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fucking hell yeah, baby. This is what I'm talking about over here. This is what I'm talking about. Let's get into the real nitty gritty fucked up shit. I'm here for this. Did he go this way? Probably. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jump. Is Algernon and the Shambler? No way back. Get slumped, or is that somebody else? Oh, hella people have died in here. All right. How many are there? How many are there? Dead people? What? Stomp, stomp, stomp. Oof. No one knew I was here, now they do. I'm just like looking around at everything. Oh shit. That's cat. <coughs> Excuse me. Is Algernon over there? Is 
It doesn't look like he is. Yo, you good, fam? God damn. Hell yeah. So what are they doing here? And I'm sure we'll figure it out soon. I'll never forgive myself for this painting. I'll never forgive myself for this painting. Please. Jeez Louise. But why is it here? Like what the hell is it doing here? came from explored everything that I could in this area. Doesn't seem to be anything to pick up or whatever. Besides refilling the lamp. Tragic. The beast is within our reach. How come it ain't attack it. all of them? That's it just went for Bring that me. one dude. Come with me. Him running. The animation of him running. Oh my god. Did you see that first for a second? Oh my god. It's like that boy's never used his legs before. Why did it look like that? Hi, Talil. Holy shit. I don't know why it looked like that, but that was fucking hilarious. Everyone saw that, right? The way he fucking picked up his fucking feet and ran, like... Alright. Look at him run! Oh my god, it's so goofy. I love it. I love it. Banish the Shambler. Alright, baby, we'll see. We'll see about all that. I probably shouldn't go running around. Does she have fucking manicure nails? Nice. Running like a ninny. Lol.
I'll never forgive myself for this painting. Okay. How do we kill it? The Shambler can open breaches between dimensions. He uses glyphs as anchors to stay in our world. Then I must destroy these glyphs. Exactly. My. I will make the glyphs visible so you can revoke them. Oh, By he. Doing so, this zone... Okay, so he didn't get pounced on because he has the medallion. But wasn't the medallion for Sarah? And not Alcarnon? Protected by a barrier. Perfect. Stay inside the shield. I'll create the protective barrier. Get back inside it as soon as you sense the slightest danger. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What the fuck? The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. So it's on the floor somewhere. Wow, that sure helps me. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. I'm sneaking around because I don't want him to dick me. You said it's on the ground, right? The first one. Okay. for some trouble. Am I just supposed to have my light out? Like, I don't even fucking know. I don't understand what's happening. Ugh. Have appeared somewhere on the floor. I'm looking for it, okay? Motherfucker. I'm trying my hardest to find it. I don't know where that bitch at. The fuck? Find that symbol, Sarah. I'll kill you yeah, if you don't the shut the fuck up. Life. destroy the first glyph. Okay. But I have to find it. Please shut the fuck up. If you ain't gonna actually help me, then shut your mouth. Drive me mad. Just listen to this motherfucker loop his fucking shit. Looping dialogue. Wow. Phenomenal. Stellar. Just run around with this aimed at the fucking floor. The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. 
I've run around this place like I don't know how many times, bro. I don't know what you want from me. Oh, is it down here? Just kidding, I need oil. I need oil. I'm about to look up where they are because this is like ridiculous. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. Don't make me turn fucking dialogue down, dude. I'll do it, you motherfucker, I'll do it. I need some oil. Yeah, whatever. Fucking bitch. Why? What did I do to deserve this loop to fucking dialogue? And I'm lost, like... Christ, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up! Holy shit. The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. Symbol, Sarah. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. Really? <sighs> the first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. One sec. I don't know what I'm like. I know I'm supposed to run around and look for glyphs, but like, where the fuck are they, fam? Wait, let me look. Where is this shit? Boy. This shit. That's crazy. That's really crazy to me.
That's really crazy to me. I feel like that really ain't the floor, fam. That ain't the floor. I hate to break it to you. That ain't the floor, fam. It ain't. The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. That ain't the floor, fam. Hate to break it to you, honey. But the floor, that ain't it. <clears throat> this ain't the fucking floor. I don't care what anybody says. This is not the fucking floor. It don't work like that, bruh. It just don't. against me the ritual is working don't worry it's just until I ward it off oh no the wanderer is back <laughs> oh yeah boy Oh. Oh, I was just supposed to go back into the cliff. Oh. Oh. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Has been revealed. You know what you have to do, Sarah. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. to find that. Wait, what did he say about it? I wasn't even listening. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. Where is it? Oh, it's in here. Please fix your death fucking sounds because my hearing is very important to me. Jesus. The fuck. second symbol has been revealed. You know what you have to do, Sarah.
must be here. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. Oh shit, oh shit, wrong way. Whoa, calm down. I'll never forgive myself for this painting. Fuck you, little bitch boy ass, bitch ass, little bitch boy ass now bitch. Is when matters get complicated. Yeah. I must breach the barrier to ward off the creature. You have to lure it in front of me, Sarah. Do you understand? Once it goes after you, I need you to guide it towards me. Uh, what? You gon' die, fam. <laughs> you goodbye. It was nice knowing you to fuck. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. Really, my mic. I'm gonna throw my You're headset. Almost there, Sarah. Only one glyph left to find. Against the wall, bruh. This shit's fucking annoying to deal with. Jesus Christ. Alright, where's the third one? Oh, I see it. Sorry, I had to fix my fucking microphone in the middle of the game. Again. Haha, uh -huh. XD, hilarious. Let's go, Sarah. It's over. You took the thing off mm -hmm. of you. I can hear him. He calls me. Sarah! No! Algernon. It's too late. I must resist! Please! Don't! Hell yeah. Did that happen because I'm going insanity run? Maybe. Um, permanently drive the dimensional stram shambler. Back at the end of a fierce battle, however, this feat of strength cost her what was left of her self-awareness. She has succumbed to the call of the myth. I wonder if you can save her. Probably if I... 
didn't make a bunch of previously really poor decisions. Sarah Hawkins. Why did she do it? Oof. Damn it. Probably because we're evil. Did our guest enjoy our hospitality? Let me out of here. I'm warning you, Pierce. I want a short and clear-cut confession. Do you admit your guilt in the case brought before you? You don't have any idea what's happening. I wonder if you could save her. I know I saved Algernon, because I think if you... If you don't burn the thing, then you can't... <coughs> You can't, like, I think he dies. Because I got an achievement. <coughs> Excuse me. One sec. Companion in arms. That's what it's called. Um. Huh. Yeah, save Drake's life during the fight with the creature. So I guess you could not kill him, or not save him. Chief West, we got a problem. Damn it, not now. Jeez. What is it this time? Captain Fitzroy, Chief. Some guys have ransacked Roy's bar. They went berserk, attacked the patrons, smashed the place up. It's chaos. This is only the beginning. Let me out. <sighs> Let's go take a look. Tell Sullivan and Marshall to keep this one nice and warm till I get back. Are you stupid? Don't you understand? Those goddamn idiots. Leviathan, talk to me. Oh, hell yeah. Hi, Dad. I find you again. Yes, you do. As promised, I come back to reiterate the offer of truth. Okay. As your mind expands and finally understands the true nature of the world, your perceptions change. Are you ready to see your world and the ones that live in it as they truly are? Absolutely. Whoa! What does this say? Hello? I don't know what any of that says. Come, truth seeker. Follow the path of the ultimate truth. I think that's Spanish. <laughs> uh, that's fucking hilarious. I think that's I think that's Spanish. <laughs> Oof, I don't know why that's so funny to me, but it was.
focus on the stealth detector. Fighters. Survivors. I never would have thought you so naive. It's all your fault. You could have stopped this whole thing. Your army buddies. The Rangers. Me. We're all in danger. As long as you're alive. You know, I was trying to keep that intact. That's crazy. She really just shot me. That's wild. Duh. Okay. Dom, what happened? Come, you'll want to hear what these two Egypts have to say. This better be interesting. Oh, I'm playing Seems cat. Like someone decided to grant you your deepest wish. A mutiny? <laughs> Worse. They killed Chief West. What? And left his body in one of our warehouses. You're kidding. They're all yours. Which one of you is dumb enough to kill a cop and throw him on my doorstep? <laughs> we don't know nothing. The dead body in my warehouse disagrees. We swear, miss. It's not us. Spill it. We've got nothing to do with it. Strength master. Damn. <clears throat> I want to know everything about the corpse over there. Or I swear you will meet the same Excuse end. Excuse me. If we speak to you, we're dead. If we don't speak to you, we're dead. What? No. Listen, miss. We didn't see what happened, but we heard. Noises and talkings, like... We've been betrayed. By whom? Go. Look at the body. You'll find... Wait, I want to try that again. Dom, what happened? Come, you'll want to hear what these two Egypts have to say. <laughs> this better be interesting. Seems like someone decided to grant you your deepest wish. A mutiny? <laughs> Worse. What? Your, which one? <laughs> the wait, wait. Actually, you just gave me an idea. Oh! <sighs> 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 You can beat me as much as you want. I won't speak. And why is that? They always know what's in our heads. I... We can't even want to tell you. They will know the minute we consider telling you. Stop. You're giving me a headache. But you can look by yourself. You're clever. Yeah, yeah. She'll figure it out. Where is this workshop? I'll go with you. He must be talking about the old boat repair workshop. Pickerons. They've done nothing wrong. Apart from killing a cop on our turf. 
Excuse me. Who he? How do you know they killed him? Do you want me to settle it with some lead? Scurvy dog always threatening us. <clears throat> Quieten these lunkheads down before I shiv the lot of them. I'll take care of them. A bunch of liquor sponges aren't going to lay down the low round here. I'll take a look at this workshop. Join me when you're finished. Interesting. What the fuck? What the hell? the dimensional they banish a creature but at what cost she touched the painting what has she done okay new day new day dark water dogs leviathan came back did he really offer me a choice was he even there with me there was water and dilemmas and visions i can't say when my mind started showing me things that may not exist what is it this time <laughs> lol right So how can tracked uh, into the abandoned mine? Presence shows that the place was used by Cat's gang. We don't have much left. We're on chapter 11. And there's 14 chapters. God, I'm out of blood. What the fuck? Is he really on the fucking table? Like a goddamn fucking. Here we are. Dead ass animal. Here we are. A butchered fucking animal. Okay, no, I thought he was on the... On the table. If someone had told me that one day West's work would kill him. Can I look all around here? Seems like I can. I don't know if there's anything else off here. I suppose not. I just wanted to see, check and see if there was. <laughs> Someone moved the corpse here. Where did the murder happen? So, Kat has master strength, she's good with investigation, she's good with medicine. Damn, sounds like she should be us. Not even gonna front. We came from here. Down the stairs.
So this is where West was killed. What's that? What the fuck is that? Where did it come from? She said, what the fuck was that? So maybe a cultist or... I guess a cultist killed him? wasn't alone. Who were those guys? There's only one man who smokes these gaspers. Fitzroy. supposed to be here truth seeker oh shit we got a gun now what the hell body of chief west was found in a warehouse on cat's territory by following the trailer bullet, she discovered the identity of the killer, a member of the cult that is currently running amok on the island. Impossible, on the other hand, to explain how she uncovered the following information, the presence of Captain Fitzroy, and especially that of Sarah Hawkins. Algernon Drake, who was supposed to have stayed with her in the mansion, appears nowhere in this strange reconstruction. And my cult. one nine eleven. I just wanted to see what happened. <laughs> Leviathan returned to tortured Pierce with a new vision, one in which detective will see through Cat's eyes. getting this game. This is, I think, the only chapter where you use a gun. I think that was it. What the hell? Dom, get out of here. Go! I'll cover you. Die! You filthy rat! Damn it! See? I told you. Pierce saw Kat's worrying discoveries through her eyes. While she was searching for the murderer of a cop, she was attacked by some of the island inhabitants. Pierce is yet to find if she did make it. You literally shoot a gun twice. <laughs> Sorry. almost like me playing well then why would you buy it there's two more chapters left three including this one wake up what happened my boy Bradley bruh it's man Bradley bruh
Take that weapon, you'll need it. Uh oh. What? Tell me. My head. They're coming into my head. Bradley, damn it. Pull yourself together. He did. I can't resist any longer. Uh oh. Remember the cultists we saw under the Hawkins house. I saw them on the docks. Yes. You've been in this cell for days. Listen, I think they are responsible for your affliction. I was unable to stop her. What do you mean, honey? She left with the bookseller. He came back alone. Told me she couldn't resist the call. Doctors told me later they saw her going in the direction of the whaling station. Damn it! I turned it, Pierce, into one of those things. No! Keep fighting it, Brad. Too late. You have to end this. Do it. Kill me! Why would I shoot him? Enough killing. Clap him. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what the hell? I kind of want to kill him just to kill him. They're already on the evil one. You know, I shouldn't have saved the uh, Algernon, honestly. She followed the murderous trail and found cultists again. What about Sarah Hawkins? Did she leave to join them? He was becoming one of them, yet I wonder what will happen to him. All I can do now is find Sarah Hawkins. Well, we have no sanity left, almost. We have a sliver of it left. Um, okay. The stolen choice. Gaining knowledge always comes at a cost. An unknown entity has come to find Pierce in his cell. The presence, who calls itself Leviathan, offered to grant what it called knowledge to him. When he accepted this gift, his mind was again projected into another body. He followed the actions in the fall of Sarah Hawkins. She... Wait, the... She that Leviathan calls... The Oracle gave in to the attraction of occult forces after having defeated the Shambler once and for all. Pierce paid a heavy mental price for this knowledge. First Dilemma Leviathan has returned to torture Pierce. This time, the choice has allowed the detective to gain access to shocking revelations on the inhabitants of the island that he believed were his allies. Each piece of knowledge gained destroys Pierce's mind one more bit, a mind already weakened by visual and sound hallucinations that accompany Levi Leviathan's visits. The detective's sanity is greatly undermined by these encounters. He's in danger of sinking into madness for good. We got four more. Psychotic. <laughs> oh, boy. Sorry, Piercy. Piercy, Piercy, Piercy boy. Think I'm gonna load and kill Bradley.
Because we're on evil. I kind of wish that I had, um... Not saved what's-his-face. Actually... Let me see something. Let me see something. Oof, that wasn't that far ago. That was like a two chapters. Or two chapters, but it wasn't even that far ago. Let me see this. I'll probably just not save Algernon and see what happens. <laughs> We're gonna clap everybody. We are playing Evo. Uh. Evo slash <laughs> insane, so. I don't know if I have to do this thing again. Okay. Bye bye. Lol. You don't even have to save him, but she acts like you saved him. Phenomenal. Poor Algernon. Reloaded an old save just to kill his ass. <laughs> I just figured, you know, I mean, like, we're... You we might as well. Because on a good playthrough, I would try to save him, so... Sarah Hawkins, damn it! Put him out of his misery. I'm you to quest. We got a problem. Damn it, not now. What is it this time? Captain Fitzroy, Chief. Some guys have ransacked Roy's bar. And then we'll kill Bradley. Attack the patrons, smash the place up. So we can join his girlfriend. Is only the How bittersweet. Let me out. <sighs> Let's go take a look. Tell Sullivan and Marshall to keep this one nice and warm till I get back. Nice and warm? What the hell? <laughs> Goddamn idiots. I can probably skip through some of this upcoming. I could just fast forward it, honestly. We don't have to sit through it again. <laughs> fucking glasses, bro. I'm so sick of these fucking things getting dirty. Like, you don't even- you go breathe on them. Not even, and they'd get dirty. It's like, what the hell? Get your shit together! I don't have time for this! As, as your mind, are you ready to see your world? Yes. Come through, follow-
Dom. Worth. What happened? Come on. You'll want to hear what these two Egypts have to say. Egypts. This better be interesting. Seems like someone decided to grant you your deepest wish. Um, I'm the uh, your friend just gave me an idea. No, please, I'll tell you anything. You speak, we're all dead. She hates him. Maybe she can beat him. Who are you talking about? Shut up. Sorry, miss. <sighs> Damn. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. You're completely useless, boss. But you can look by yourself. You're clever. Yeah, yeah. She'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is this workshop? I'll go with you. you Release our friends <laughs> Yeah. I'm asleep. Apart from killing a cop on our turf. That's hooey. Hooey. Goofy. Do you want me to settle it with some lead? Scurvy dog always threatening us. Scurvy dog. Quieten <laughs> these lunkheads down. I'll, I'll take. Doof. Here we are. If someone had told me that one day West's work would kill him. <laughs> we came from here. Down the stairs. <laughs> What's... <laughs> Weird. There's fi You're not supposed to That man is blue. Damn it. He was blue. The color blue. Chill, fam. It ain't that serious, my dude. Wake up. What happened? Okay. Kick what crap? had to do was keep an eye on the pit. What happened? What happened to Sarah Hawkins? I... What do you... Say? Damn it. Return, Pierce. Either one of those things. No. Keep fighting, Fred. Too late. You have to end this. Do it. Kill me. 
What happens if you let it run out? Enough killing. Oh. Figures. Here. <clears throat> Wake up. What happened? What traffic? Okay. We've been working. I know you can. It's too late. What are you saying? Okay. okay. I'm turning gears into one of those things. No. Keep fighting. What's how's that shit go? How's that shit go? From where you're kneeling, from where you're kneeling, this must seem like an 18 carat run of bad luck. Truth is. The game is rigged from the start. I'm sorry. Okay. We lost sanity. Hmm. I'm thinking I missed out on, on sanity, to be honest. I think I did. I think I missed out on, like, at least one or two. At least one. One sec. <clears throat> I got I got it. You see his eyes? Oh, I can't breathe. This is just reused from the beginning. Well. Sarah Hawkins was going to the whaling station. You killed the man. I couldn't let him become like them. Nothing human about them. If they catch me, I'm dead. Who did this? She got away from Bradley Howe. He said that she had gone with Drake, the fools. Did they manage to survive their struggle with the Shambler? Hmm. It stinks that Bradley dies in this playthrough, but hopefully he lives in another playthrough where I don't make terrible, poor choices. What am I doing? You're killing everybody and I love it. <laughs> you're just, you're killing everyone. I never, it's funny because I never, I never play evil characters on stream. But like this is a game where I feel like it encourages you to be evil. The Abomination, oh I just got another achievement. Hi, Cherry.
such a long arm. Yeah, it's long because I, um, the field of view is normally 55, and I made it 68. So, that's why it's long. It looks, like, awkward, but it, it really doesn't bother me because most of the time you don't really see the arm like that. It's just for the rest of what is seen. Pierre's tired of, right? Pierre's tired of this shit. Thank you. How did you manage to get out of your cell? Officer Bradley came to free me. Bradley and his sense of justice. I killed him. Where is he? He's fine. I killed him. He was turning into one of those things over there. He begged me to end his suffering. I understand. I would have done the same, I guess. I see you're out of bullets. Take these. Sullivan won't need them anymore. Thanks. Oh, I should have killed his ass. <laughs> Sarah Hawkins was going to the whaling station. Stop. Oh, God. What am I doing? Killing everybody. And it's a big ass mood. After the bullshit we put up with in this game. Oh, damn it. Kill them all. Kill them all, baby. Kill them all. What the? Was he like the others? Do I not have more bullets now? He wasn't, but, you know, we killed him anyway, because who cares? <laughs> what happened here? What happened here? Yeah, I increased the field of view. How many died because of this madness? Don't worry, I'm planning to play a good playthrough. I just figured the first one would be the most evil. It makes sense. Oh, damn it. Because it's like, I want to embrace the madness. I want to embrace how terrible this game can be. It's fucking Cthulhu for Christ's sake. That's why I've been going around, going out of my way trying to find this, like, the worst sanities for him. That's why I made him fucking psychotic. On purpose. I'm running around looking for people to kill. I'm a maniac! Anything for Leviathan Daddy! <laughs> uh, yeah, but don't worry. I'll be playing- I'll definitely be replaying this on stream. It won't be nearly- it won't take nearly as long because I won't like look at everything and I won't like... Explore everything. Why can't I kill him? Sorry. <laughs> oh, oof. He just. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and he fucking flops over. It's my body only. I have the right to eat it. Okay. Damn. Kill them all. Kill him fucking all, baby. He said, it's my body. Only I have the right to eat it. He would eat in his face. The fuck? I thought we were in Boston, not Florida. <laughs> it 
Looks like St. Brendan's critics finally got him. Probably the cult's work. Roy Woods. Is that you, detective? Can't leave the damn island, huh? I must go to the whaling station. I'll help you get there if you bring me something to fix this wound. I'm coming back with a first aid kit. I'll make it quick. I'm dying. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, can't help you. <laughs> Sorry, can't help you. <laughs> oh, hey. You're dying, you said. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I have a place I must go to right now immediately. It's urgent. It makes me um, regret earlier when we were in Irene's house or in the what's this what's this place house when we t when we spoke to Irene because we could have been like I know I reloaded because I didn't want to say it but I could have stuck with what I originally said which was like. You put your you put your husband in there like it's your fault what happened to him. Cause I'm pretty sure if you do that, if you say that shit to her, she kills herself. But it's all good. I'm pretty sure we saw her in the Is that what's his face? We saw her in the um like Asylum or whatever Looking like a fucking doll so She kind of dead regardless I guess Is he in here? That poor dead rat. <laughs> it looks like an old seaway map. Oh. Can we kill Cat too? Fuck it, kill everybody. <laughs> oh my god. I'm enjoying this a little bit too much. But I never play like this. Like, ever. Because normally it makes you feel really bad for killing people. When they found out, they ate my flesh. Well, that wasn't very nice of them. And my flesh granted them powers and revelations. You are getting closer, truth seeker. Hell yeah. The most precious gift of all. The truth. The ultimate truth among the world. If I that it will only be a matter of time before I know how to create it. It will be the end of gods, be they ancient and powerful. Someone with exceptional sensitivity to his dreams. 
track the truth like the bloodhound of love. Okay, father. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What has she done? Fitzroy, Fuller Hawkins, all began with the miraculous catch. Sarah Hawkins, the Oracle, what is her role when everything is done? I mean, what am I still doing here? You're killing people, you silly. Also, Halloween. Um, chapter 12. Truth unveiled. Senses are no longer reliable, neither is logic. In the harbor master's office, an old sea map triggered new residual images. Their number, their precision, their nature, everything points towards them being, in reality, visual and sound hallucinations. However, the information that they provided matched the proof found throughout the investigation, beginning with the information on the miraculous catch. If Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller really were on board the Scylla and founded the cult, what age must they really be? Attention everyone, he's destroyed all ways off the island. I want all the boats removed from the bay immediately. Sailing boats, small boats, everything that floats. No one can escape us now. Their fates are sealed as the great lord will rise from the depths. No one can escape his grasp soon. My brothers, I <sighs> Rejoice because a long awaited moment is now upon us. Hurdy fucking dur. Hi. She looks wounded as fuck. Damn. Crazy. What are you still doing here, Detective? need to go to the whaling station. It's locked. You'll need a key to get there. Right. Go get me a first aid kit. I might have something for you. You were chasing Fitzroy, but now you're here, injured. How do you know? There were too many. Got us. If I don't get something to stop the bleeding, I I'm a goner. I'm coming back with a first aid kit. Hurry up. I won't last long. So I'm guessing either we help Kat or we help Mitchell. We gotta help one of them, I guess. Since we need... We need a way in. I guess we'll help Kat. She's a bitch, so... That makes for like an evil playthrough. Instead of healing the innocent person, we healed the bitch. That looked like a fucking synth from Fallout 4. That was weird. Me, bitch. Sit your ass down, boy. Little stanky air, boy. Or maybe I don't have to help either of them. I think I might be able to get in there by myself. Now that I think about it. If I can lockpick it. Which I probably can. Because I think I have high enough investigation. Maybe if I can lockpick it, I don't know. 
That would be cool if you didn't have to help either of them and could get through without. But that's probably where I need to go. Killing spree? Yeah. Pretty much. We are being evil. Hey, you. Come over here. We are an evil, evil little man. They got the boss. Nasty woman. I wanted to get her the first aid kit in the Hawkins warehouse. But there's one of those poor bastards in it. Too dangerous. I'll see what I can do. Really? Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? Like, we're gonna act like that fucking shot didn't go off? Fuck off, game. Honestly, just... Fucking annoying. Hold your gun sideways. Listen. I can still shoot, can I? First aid kit. Two wounded people. Who deserves it? Yep. Yep. What the fuck? Why'd the music get all fucking weird? Shut the fog. Oh, he did. Hope his boss will have more luck. All right, so I guess our best—I don't know. Who do you guys think we should save? <clears throat> she, uh, Cat's a bitch, but I like her. But um, she's a real fucking like hard ass not really a good person and Roy is just man he just he just he just serves people's drinks you feel me like he's the innocent of all innocent why hide when I could just shoot them <laughs> just shoot them all Everybody. <laughs> oh my god. It feels so good. No, I'm just kidding. It is kind of addicting. They're like little zombies or whatever. I wonder when you, you know, when you don't want to kill these people, I guess you just got to run around them. Like, what the fuck do you do? Well, I mean, they don't, they don't, they kind of just walk, so, I guess it's really not much difficulty, I suppose. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where are the caved bitches? Or, not the caved bitches. Holy shit, I think I might be retarded. Um, the hooded bitches is what I meant, not the cave. I meant to say caped, but I said caved because I have autism. So I apologize to anyone who just witnessed that. Alright, let's go to cat, I guess.
You guys good with that? I hope so. I hope so. Um... Go get me a first aid kit. I might have something for you. I don't have it. Are you lying to me? Yes. I am. <laughs> I might have something for you. Um. Entrance to the whaling station is behind the Hawkins warehouse. Can I kill her? Oof. Yeah, I pick Cat because I figure, well, if I save Cat. She's probably gonna continue to do fucked up shit here, so yeah. Whereas if you pick the bartender, the dude who has the bar, he's like a good person. He's not gonna do fucked up shit. So that's why I picked her. He didn't make it. He didn't make it. Wait. Okay. She won't survive. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. Excuse me. Everything's seventy percent, eighty percent. There we go. Whatever. Pretty sure we're super close to the end. We're on chapter 12, and I think there's only 14 chapters. <clears throat> Excuse me.
fuck are you doing? Where did you even come from, bro? Wait. see something I don't know if hmm hmm I think it saves after I fuck okay let me say something I don't think it makes a difference but I'm just curious that's all a bitch is curious okay okay Okay. Loading takes so long. Mamma mia. <laughs> Here's I'll change the title. All oh, I'm waiting. What are you still doing here, detective? I need to go to the whaling station. It's locked. You'll need a key to get there. Right. Go. You have there if I'm car. If I need to get the key. I mean, I know she said I need a key. But the thing, hello. But the thing is, what confuses me is like The fact that, um, normally you don't need keys for stuff. Who's there? I mean, sometimes you do need keys. <laughs> I don't think this is the way, is it? Damn. And this is closed. I just want to see if I can lock pick it. That would be dope as fuck. doesn't let you do it. That's so whack. What the fuck? Okay, whatever. Whack, but whatever. Um... You will catch with a mad artist before she makes things worse. We've been after Sarah this entire fucking game, bruh. Can we just kill this bitch and then summon our Cthulhu fucking fam? Like, 
Honestly, like, I just want to summon our octopus dad, like, is that too much? Am I really asking too much? I want to summon him. I want to summon his ass. Come down, or come up, from the oceans. Sorry, that's my obnoxiously loud cheer. Come up, from the, the ocean. From the depths of hell, in the ocean. Take rain on these pitiful humans. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Was that there? Oh my god. You fucking scared the shit out of me. Calm down, Gramps. Jesus Christ, that fucking made me shit myself. Mamma mia! I pooped my pants! Fuck! Sorry, I got caught. Everybody slumped. Slumped as fuck. Me after streaming for 30 hours straight, like, I just look like this. For like three days. Fucking you. That was my last bullet. What the fuck? Why wouldn't the game tell me that? Hello? Okay. Yo, Mitchell. Hmm, I don't know about that. I gotta be honest with you, I don't think that's gonna work. Leave me alone, Boy Scout! crazy bunch of crazy monkey oh fuck I just shit myself really really ah no get away from me I only have one bullet left don't do this it's happening it's no, get away! You monkey! Get up! Get up! Run! Run your ass! The monkeys are chasing me! Ah, the monkeys! No, leave me alone! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I might be in trouble. He get, they're gonna eat my ass! We got a pistol. Oh my god, you guys are so late. What's up, Code? What's up, Wondering Dweeb? I'm three, two chapters away from the end. I have been on a killing spree. I have killed every single person I have come across that I was able to kill. But I only have a bullet left. My frames! Okay, I love how my frames are just shitting themselves.
Where do I go? What am I doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm fucking getting my ass ate by these zombies. And it wasn't consensual. That's kind of a big issue. My good. I think I'm good now. <laughs> Abandoned whaling station. Chapter 13. Pierce crossed the docks where old acquaintances and new faces met their ends. A.K.A. everybody, because he literally shot everyone. All over the place, Leviathan slaves are wandering in search of a victim. After fighting his way through and after discovering the truth about the origin of the cold and its founders, Pierce finally reached the whaling station. He hopes to catch Sarah Hawkins before she does something bad. Pierce, you spent this entire game doing bad things. I think it's a little late for... <laughs> For you to stop anything bad from happening after you just killed an entire town filled with people. <clears throat> the town had it coming. Oof. <clears throat> Sarah is one of those bastards. I gotta find her quick. In the poo poo, in the chee chee, in the poo poo, in the bing bing bong bong bong. Um, fish mark, can I hear something? What's on their side? It is calling me? Yeah, our boy's going insane. Look at his sanity. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at <laughs> Look at our little left. I, 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 the tiniest, I don't even know if that's it. It's just the tiniest little fucking, the little hook. That's all he has left. Yeah, I think I definitely missed some stuff. That's unlucky. Unfortunate. Uh, we killed Bradley. Uh, we saved Cat because I had to, but the bartender died. Um, we didn't convince her to kill herself. He died, he died, he died. And, yeah, he died. Also, really weird that we didn't get anything with Silas because it's like we were at the mansion. Locked. Hey, boys. This tank seems strong enough to break down the door. A rope and a hook. Could use that to hold the reservoir back. Relatively thick rope to which a metal hook is attached. It must be used to pick up heavy materials. It looks strong enough to take the weight of a tank. Or of the tank. Ooh, gotcha, gotcha. I love holding this in this lantern and it's shaking. Like, this is such a fucking look. This and amnesia. Like, I just want to play them running around having this out. Because for some reason, I just love how this looks. I don't know why, but I just do. I love it.
another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. Hey, this is the last one. These are the last entries of the pastor's wife. Her husband ordered his faithful to come together for a final ceremony in the honor of Leviathan. She fears that the pastor will ask them to sacrifice themselves to this abomination. She tried to escape. This is probably why her body was found in a cave under the mansion. Oh, that's who that was. Looks like a page from a log from 1847. Friday... June 4th, 1847, 55th, or 53 North, 53 West, we are starving. The fish seems to have deserted these waters. If I don't quickly find an answer to this crisis, Fitzroy could well set off a mutiny. Each day, more and more men believe in his tales of a miraculous catch. Merciful God, help me. Wednesday, June 9th, 1847. 57 North, 51 West, we sighted an enormous whale further to the south, the biggest we've ever seen. Fitzroy keeps telling the men that this is the miraculous catch he promised them. We will catch it and bring it back to f home to feed our families. Interesting. Guessing the peg leg isn't his father after all. It was him. Fuller was a crew member too. Interesting. Wednesday, June 23rd, 1847, 50, or 33 North, 53 West. The morning is biting cold. This creature made us work hard. Half of my crew is dead. I've never seen such a thing. I do not even know how to describe what happened. It's as if the creature was talking inside our heads. Some of my men went crazy and jumped overboard. This thing is not a whale. It's far bigger. I don't even know how to describe it. It practically gutted our ship with these tentacles. I don't know how. My harpoon finally pierced the skull of this monster. The crew is in a sorry state. Fuller looks after the injured, but some will not recover. Damn. I hope there's a thing to fill my lantern. Otherwise, I'm gonna be Bible thump as fuck. Never mind, baby. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> Sarah Hawkins was probably taken behind this huge door. Got to find a way to get through. Hell yeah. the Leviathan how it drove the sailors mad Friday June 27th 1847 37 north 63 west holy shit it's pouring the whole crew has descended into madness they speak of dreams visions of a nightmare city and of a sleeping god madness I locked myself in my cabin I won't be able to hold out for long Fitzroy has 12 men on his side they sacrificed everyone who tried to stop them to their new god I beseech you almighty god to have pity on our souls this will be my last prayer I can hear them whispering so what they're saying is flapjack and cap oh my god get me out of this hell it is my chat This tank seems strong enough to break down the door. Oh my god, I'm sure it did. Maniacs. 
This should stop the cart from moving. This should help me get the tank swinging. Doesn't work. I need something to cut the rope to release the tank against the door. Because it's about the ocean and shit? Oof. Interesting. Here's daddy. Run down port, got you. I don't think you guys were following me when I played Vampire, but Vampire had a run down port as well. But that's a game about vampires. But it's still really fucking interesting. If any of you have never played it, it's really good. You could check out my collection if you want to watch me play it. I played it a good boy. I was a good I was a real good boy. A real good boy. Fuck do I get down from here? There's something here. What the fuck? There's a monster here. Oh, it's the Leviathan. Calm down, you fucking cornball. Leviathan. Stellar larva, offspring of the earth. Leviathan is seen, feared, and worshipped. Feared, worshipped, and named by men. It is linked by its dreams to the one who sleeps and will not find rest until its divine progenitor. I don't know. Is free. There is no greater predator on earth, and yet this being that feeds on huge creatures will never directly attack man. It will instill fear, the dreams, excuse me, a relay, and finally madness into the minds of those who it chooses to serve its designs. Cursed are those who cross its path, and more cursed still, those who hear its voice, because for them no salvation in death. It's basically like the Leviathan is like the Democrat Party. And it just instills fear on people to get them to do what it wants. Summed up, baby. There you go. I summed it up. No. That voice. You're the Leviathan. Look at, look at him, he's so big and squishy. Did he kill me? Hello? Oh, no. Hello. Who 
Who is this? The quest for truth requires sacrifice. There's no room for compassion. Oof. Who's there? Ain't that the truth? Wanting to help others who would have deserted you is a weakness. Fate leads us inevitably to solitude, and in one's final moment. Can't escape it forever. It will always find its way. Damn it. That is so loud. Everything points back to the day they brought in that thing. A forgotten photograph in the offices of the whaling station. Only a handful of the Scylla crew is present. Captain Fitzroy and Dr. Fuller are included. It is dated 1847. It inked on me. Sailors were going insane. Fitzroy and the mutineers took over the ship and probably killed the captain. Thursday, June 25th, 1847. 35 North, 59 West. Fitzroy encouraged the men all day. They are in shock and can't overcome their trauma. They say they can hear they say they can hear the screams of their comrades turn mad. Some of them hurt themselves in a desperate attempt to stop the visions that haunted them. Others chose to embrace them. Fitzroy is one of the latter. He named the beast Leviathan because he believes in his biblical nature. I told them to get rid of it before it's too late. This thing is not the work of God. An old log. Captain Hamilton's logbook. Monday, the 24th of May, 1847, 42 north, 70 west. We have sailed from the island of dark water towards the north. Sailors say that these waters are haunted. I don't believe in these tales. It's not a good time for us. My men haven't seen the slightest trace of a whale for quite a while. If the season doesn't improve, they will no longer wish to serve on the Scylla. Sunday, 30th of May, 1847, 47 north, 55 west. We are not the only hunters here. While we were looking for a prey, we found dead whales, a dozen of them drifting, their entrails exposed. They had been shred, as if they had been attacked by a huge predator. It's very strange. Perhaps it is a sign from God. Perhaps it is this good catch that we have long hoped for. We must find it, whatever the risk. Belonging to the captain of the sea. The pages I found seem to be the missing ones. Interesting. And that's Leviathan. Excision of the Madness Stone. Beliefs and other superstitions have sometimes contributed to the development of medicine. Several centuries ago, it was thought that a patient with a mental disorder had a stone of madness in his skull. A trep trepanation of the skull and excision were thus performed. Sometimes the patient survived, sometimes he was cured. Today the vocabulary has changed, but the methods a little less. We have no sanity left. Leviathan. The true appearance of Leviathan was revealed, and no man can support this vision without going mad. Fear set his eyes upon his, this cosmic being, and his mind suffered a new, new attack. He is trapped in the whaling station with Leviathan, and he must endure a series of ordeals if he is to survive this encounter. His choices will bear serious consequences for his sanity. Honey, what sanity? We don't have any sanity left. We're about to finish the game, I guess. I don't think Pierce is making it off this island, guys. I gotta be honest with you.
eat his flesh while he's still alive. Holy moly, that's a big ass fucking bone saw. What the hell? I mean, that's not a bone saw, but whatever the fuck it is, it's big. Capiche? Capache? No, don't jump in. Wait a second. That's cool as fuck, but at the same time... Oh, calm down. Calm down. I'm not even in the vent, you fuck. You fucking silly boy. I wanna go over here. He said, perfect. Perfect. It's easy. Perfect. 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 Finally awake. How do you feel, Mr. Pierce? I feel great. Fuller! Son of a bitch! I'll kill you! <laughs> no. No, I'm not even really with you. Well, to be perfectly precise, I am with you. But not in this cell. What have you done to me? Me? Nothing, really. See... It's one of the exquisite effects of this incredible creature. Uh, Leviathan! I see you already know about it. Well, shall we begin? I'll take the treatment or take the treatment. Thanks for the host. Were you streaming? How are you? I'm finishing this game, so if you don't want to be spoiled, you might want to dip. What were you streaming? And I'm okay. Really enjoying this game, which is nice. Let me take a sample from you. Flesh, blood, spinal fluids. Don't fear. I created the mythological Angkor from Leviathan's flesh. Who knows what I can make with you? I need your body for my research. streaming <laughs> wait I'm confused didn't I just hit don't take the gun hello oh god that's good 
But what means I wet? Let me skip all this. the mythological Angkor from Leviathan's flesh? I... I killed him! <clears throat> Unnecessary sacrifice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Weird. Oh, hell yeah. Oh hell yeah, I got them all, baby. I was so worried I had missed one, but I got them all. Fuck yes. And we lost all of our sanity. Okay. Second dilemma. Pierce agreed to take Fuller's treatment, a preparation derived from Leviathan's fluids. Third dilemma. Pierce chose to eat Leviathan's flesh, thus increasing the creature's hold on his mind. Last dilemma. Pierce seized the revolver and shot Fuller. In doing so, he followed the wish of Leviathan. Oh my god, I'm so happy I got all of them! And no sanity! I don't know what the hell that means for poor Pierce, but hey, He's dead. I'd have a great difficulty explaining what exactly happened. We were really no longer of this world, that's for sure, and in a confused way, I know that Leviathan forced me to kill him. He did not hide the fact that he wanted his death. Awesome. Awesome. That proves your determination. Look at that big boy. He's huge. Oh my gosh, please. Find the truth and be free. Oh, I see it's filling up with gas. It looked like it was filling up with gas, but maybe I'm just an idiot. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'm just a fucking retard. Well, no. Die to the fumes. What the fuck?
this is some dishonored shit right here. What the fuck? I love it. It makes me miss Dishonored. This game has honestly mis made me miss the fuck out of Dishonored. Nothing's happening. Especially with the the whalers, the whales and the whalers oil. Interesting. Motherfucker. Okay, this is gonna be fucking irritating. Already, I can tell. Not like this. Okay, get hit by a bus. At least this doesn't change each time, because that would just be fucking AIDS! Excuse me.
Leviathan is my daddy, okay? Yes. Fitzroy. Time to hoist the white flag. We're not gonna hurt you. I won't go without a fight. You think you're here of your own accord? Ah. Stay back, or I'll put a bullet in your head. Excuse me. I see you. You cannot escape my awareness. Whoa, big boy! I follow your wanderings, your choices, your attempts to free yourself from business. But it is as I predicted, you have come to free me. Awaken and call him. You know when I realized Mass Effect is literally like... Lovecraft, but in space. Like, <laughs> if you guys haven't played Mass Effect, the Reapers, the biggest Reaper is the Leviathan, and it looks like this, except in, it's in the fucking sky, and it's made of, like, metal instead of flesh. That's pretty much it. That's the only difference, and it shoots giant lasers. Peter's finally met Leviathan in flesh and blood. The monstrous creature submitted him to a series of ordeals, the end of which he decided that the detective was ready to face his destiny. Pierce blew up the whaling station, and after a final confrontation with Le Leviathan, he passed out. He took a well-deserved nap. You are the voice. It's pretty. Get those graphics, right? Look at those graphics. I really like how they're blurry as fuck. And God, I turn motion blur off, which you have to do in the settings, because there's not a fucking option in the graphic options for whatever reason. Pass the fuck out. Stand up. Walk. <laughs> Me trying to get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> Is 
Is somebody there? Hey, who are you? I made this man lose his goddamn mind and kill everybody he cared about. Feels <laughs> good, man. Uh, where am I? Whoa, that was weird. Hey, no, I don't have time to go back. I must Damn go it. to Sarah. Sarah? Sarah probably dead. The fuck? You still worry about that bitch for? What the hell? The miraculous catch was a trap. Leviathan wanted to be found. And wanted to be eaten by all the inhabitants of the island so he could infiltrate their dreams and use them as pawns. I'm smart. going in that circle right now I want to look at the painting hello I want to look at the p let me look at the painting you maniac None of this is real. I saw you dead, as I see you now. Am I crazy, too? You survived. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You will stay alive until you fulfilled your destiny. No. Look at me. No. Look at me, Pierce. No, I'm gay. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. When I was eight, my little brother fell from the apple tree. He was bleeding. <laughs> I took care of him. That very day, I decided to become a doctor. Wow. I never reneged on my oath. That's what led me to Dark World. How poetic. The people here needed me. I died trying to save one of them. Help me give them a second chance. Embrace the power of this sleeping god. You're out of your mind. It's not just your life that is at stake. <laughs> Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Colden! You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. I saw what Leviathan did to Ford. We will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not predetermined that he lived to see the call. But you? Yes. It is your destiny. Huh? This painting. The investigation. I understand now. Like you, I was called here by a higher power. Yes. All your choices had the sole purpose of preparing you for the final decision. I must make a choice. Not just Not yet, but soon. We have one more thing to accomplish. What is it? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins, our oracle. Wait, I just got an achievement. Let me look at you. I bet you, you, you fucking retard. Get the words out. Let me look at the last couple of achievements that I got. They've been freaky. Uh, 
um, the voice behind the grave, beyond the grave, chat with a vision. <laughs> okay. Accept the re revelations. Learn the secret of the Scylla. Fall into Fuller's trap. Um. <laughs> okay. I think the rest of these. Sarah, I feel her calling me. <laughs> but it's not quite that easy. Not yet. You have one last thing to accomplish. No. Please. I can't do it. Do you understand what it is? She has already fulfilled her mission. Worry about your own. No. No. No one can fight their faith. Neither them. Sorry, Piers. Don't resist, Edward. They're already dead. There's nothing you can do. Just give in. Okay. Dummy heart. I must go to Sarah. She is the Oracle. She will know what to do. Pierce just wanted to help. He just didn't want to lose his job, his license as a private detective, a private investigator. So he took on this thing and he didn't realize what he was getting into. And the poor guy already had fucking PTSD from the war and then he suffered fucking nightmares. Just a poor guy. Just a poor guy. And what did I do? I made him lose his sanity on purpose for my stream. And here we are. You, sh you guys should be ashamed of yourselves. This is all your guys' fault. I didn't do this. I had to do it for you. So y'all should y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. You goddamn maniacs. This is all your fault. You you fucking bunch of monkeys. Unbelievable. Alabaster point. After a final confrontation, Pierce must go to Alabaster Point, where Sarah Hawkins is supposed to be waiting for him. There he must make decisions that could change the destiny of the world. You're a good person. I know. I know. I really am. Because just the stuff I have to put up with for you guys, so that you guys get the quality content that is my stream. <laughs> Evil fucking Kaba. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> I 
back here again. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. Whoa, mama. Look at that. This shit look fucking cool as hell. Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil <laughs> bestows the power of life. To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. He's a magician. <laughs> this makes me miss Dishonored, it really does. That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny although in vain make you worthy of the fate that is yours the day has come you will be asked to choose they're all magicians what the hell sorry it's hot off Hello, Charles. You took everything from me. Wife. Life. Destiny. You first took your right to a normal life. The moment you chose power over humanity. No one wants to see such an unbearable sight. Oof. You don't have the slightest idea of what you speak. Of what I've been through. I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps. My marriage, my family, my own flesh. Why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face <gasps> painting? Jealousy. Yikes. I don't know. I don't know. You'll see it as the unknown in your stupid pride clouds your judgment. Quit lying to yourself and embrace your destiny. It's not cowards that brought you those medals. None of this is real. <laughs> Trust your gut. If nothing's real, what are you? I'm a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches? Don't listen to them. They're too dangerous for your tired mind. I was loud as fuck. Am 
my name is Jeff. It's right there. I'm almost there. It's saved. I'm glad it's saved. This looks so fucking cool. Here you are at last, Truth Seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover. But I was <laughs> afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. <laughs> Unfortunate. I have seen things. Strange and horrifying, but always true. Will you trust my words? Yes. One man, one man only, prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes. I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written, or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. My stomach hurt. Wait, what the hell? Mab, you better get the fuck out of here. I don't know what the fuck you are doing in here. Mab is dead ass about to get his ass banned. Wow, Mab, that's, that's really interesting. You want to send me a fucking message saying that you're loving my stream? Hmm, interesting. Hmm, Mav. 
Map attack official. That's crazy. That's really wild. I hate this kid. I wanted to watch him play this shit, and he gonna get spoiled by me. <sighs> He's supposed to be a grown adult. Actually, let's just shoot ourselves. I want to see what happens when we shoot ourselves. But I'm going to perform the ritual, so... <laughs> Makes sense to do the one that I'm not going to keep first. You know? I wish I could skip this. <clears throat> Here you are at last. You will up at one. I will you want it? I think. Okay. Wow, it's a fucking black screen. Video games are absolutely fucking incredible. Stupid. Just dumb. I feel the cup. Really? Are you fucking serious? Stupid ass fucking game. My body's fucking invisible. Like, really? Seriously? Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christmas. Okay, okay. Jesus fucking Christmas. I had to do everything my goddamn self. Why are we a fucking like really, bro? Seriously. It's going to be bugged. Don't worry, we get to sit through this fucking bullshit. Because we're just gonna be a floating fucking gun. Like, are you serious? Jesus Christ. Turn it fucking down so I'm not deaf. What a bunch of fucking bullshit, man. I just wanted to see what it fucking, like, I wanted to see both of them. And we just get a fucking floating gun, like, you really think I have time for this? You were waiting for me. You all this time I was a... What did you look? <laughs> Listen. Fancy. Will you... Yes. One man. Because I said truth seek. I feel that. Because it was... I won't skip it, so maybe it doesn't bug out this time. 
Jesus Christ. I'm gonna eat crackers. I'm gonna eat, I like. My body is invisible. His Pierce's body is gone. He's a floating fucking gun. Like my man's. No. Like really. Let me restart the fucking game. Why are we a floating gun, fam? Like, really, like, <laughs> like, it's funny, but, like, it's not, because it's a glitch. And it won't go away. It's not funny anymore. Maybe it's... Maybe it's my field of view, but it can't be, because when I went to to do it the first time, it was just black, like it was just a black screen, but I wasn't a floating gun, or it wasn't, there wasn't a floating gun, but why would that fuck up? Like, why would my field of view fuck that up? Like, I don't... It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Let's try for, like, the eighth time... Please, just work, please, I beg you. I'm gonna cry. Okay, we're standing there this time. It's beautiful. Really, we get a black screen? Are you serious? We really don't even get to watch this? Okay. Nice censorship, bro. Interesting. That's interesting.
Okay. That's that's interesting. Okay. That was cool. That I like the portrait. I wish you could have seen him. Or at least, like, because it's like, well, they, you know, put so much emphasis on he can't die until he fulfills his destiny or whatever. Like, I would like to have seen them try to stop him or do something, like, their faces after he killed himself or whatever. You know, but, whatevs. That's not really the ending I'm going with anyway. Let me speed this up again. <coughs> Sorry. Alright. Poor Pierce, bruh. He's been through so much. Are we getting raped? Holy fucking shit. Holy shit. Yo, I knew he was big, but I didn't know he was that big. the fuck? Why are they punching each other? <laughs> Hello? Oh, 
Okay. What is happening? Am I eating her? Is that it? Okay, that's it. Um... Wow, that ending was trash. That was absolute fucking garbage holy shit so we spent the entire game trying to get as much insanity as possible i got every single um madness disorder or whatever i got every single one um and pierce had no sanity left like not a single ounce and we pretty much tried to kill everybody that we could like i made sure that drake died I made sure I killed Bradley. I killed a bunch of people in the town. I killed innocent fucking people in the town. Like you could, you could save Mitchell. I let him die because I saved Cat. Excuse me. And I thought Cat would kill me, especially if I saved the bullet. Excuse me, in my gun because there is a vision or whatever that the Leviathan shows you when you're underwater in the prison, where Cat's standing over Pierce. And she shoots him. So I'm like, well, maybe, like, she'll, sh if I save Cat, she'll, like, shoot Pierce or something. I don't know, something will happen. But that didn't happen. Um, so, wow. That was absolute fucking garbage. That ending was absolutely fucking trash. What was that? Like, what did I just witness? Like, what the fuck was that? And okay, here's the thing, like that half a second or whatever where it showed how fucking big it was, was cool, but like, I don't know, maybe show it for more than half a fucking second? That was so garbage, wow. Hmm, interesting. Interesting, that was fucking dookie. What the fuck was that? Yeah, I agree. That was... Not good. Okay, so apparently there's three endings. No, there's four.
Okay, so one of the endings is where you sacrifice yourself and Pierce shoots himself in the head. Maybe that's the worst ending, that's why it's so short. Um, we got the, I guess, I don't know if we got the true ending or whatever, because apparently what we just witnessed was the longest cutscene, and it also is the only one that shows Cthulhu, or shows the Leviathan or whatever. Um... Okay, so that's two endings. Apparently, if you if you save Drake's life, Algernon Drake, he'll be there, but he'll be like held hostage. So when you're given the option to perform the ritual or sacrifice yourself, or the other option, which I didn't see because my sanity was too low, or sanity was too high, or sanity was too low, yeah, because I had no sanity, so I didn't have that option. Um, but basically, while you're deciding the final decision, um, Fitzroy, or whatever, the captain of the ship, the guy we saw at the beginning, he's holding a knife to Algernon's throat. So, that's cool, I guess. Um, so you can choose... There's four decisions you can choose I will perform the ritual which is what we just saw which is the only one that shows Cthulhu and then there's another one where you can shoot yourself that's okay so I think you can only shoot yourself if you don't use the last bullet so like when I snuck around those guys those like infected little zombie things when I was trying to get inside the whalers factory or whatever um, I saved my last bullet so I'm guessing the only way that you could kill yourself is if one, your sanity was low enough and two, you kept the last bullet. I think, like I said, I'm not sure if this is right. It's just from my experience and what I just looked up. Um, perform the ritual. I don't know if you do that, if you can only do that with low sanity. But then there's one where it's like, it's over. And then there's a counter ritual. It's weird. Okay, if you perform the counter ritual you shoot, which I'm guessing you can only do if you have one bullet left, you shoot Fitzroy in the face, he lets go of Drake. I guess I, I guess I'll just play it. So you guys can fucking witness it instead of me explaining it to you. But it's just like, it doesn't fucking matter, but I'll just show you guys anyway. One sec. Let me exit this stupid fucking game. Alright, one second. <clears throat> So this is the one that's in the vision. If you keep Algernon alive or whatever. 
I don't know, there's a vision of this. And I remember it's Algernon, like, Drake's alive, and he's holding the medallion, and then you see all this black shit around Pierce. Counter ritual. I don't know what the fuck this does. <laughs> oh no, we're in the hospital. The Riverside Institute. Is that Fuller? Or Pierce? As you asked us to, Doctor. Good, thank you. Oh, my God. So he's just stuck in a fucking mental institution? Really? That's the counter ritual? What is this ending? Are you serious? Why is every single one of these endings fucking doo doo? Afraid of what I might discover, but I was afraid of myself. You must stop. With my God, I reckon. You don't fucking pick one, you fucking piece of shit. You just shoot her? I can't let you do this. No one can force you. <laughs> what the fuck? Frames. Frames. Sorry, Simon. Uh oh. <laughs> hmm. Wouldn't this be technically the best? end I mean the good end but wow there's like no resolution if you keep certain people alive can you fucking skip this you fucking mongoloid Thanks. I mean, yeah, either way, it's gonna end badly, but the best out of your options is probably this one, if you're going for a good character.
So we're back in his office, I'm assuming, with one last one of her paintings. Very funny game guy. How did she paint that? How did she paint that? I don't get it. Also, like, what's the resolution with her father? Like, here's the thing. What the fuck? There's no resolution. Like, I'm so sick of games not having any fucking, like... If you're gonna make a game where it's like, hey, your choices matter, what you say to people matters, saving people's lives is a thing that you should do because it matters, it's like, well, you kinda have to fulfill your end of the fucking deal. If you're gonna make players think that what they're deciding on and the choices they make and what they're doing has any kind of fucking weight, any kind of reason why we should care about any of that at all you need to follow through you can't just have this fucking bullshit like at the end and then cut to the fucking title screen of the credits like what the fuck are you doing fam you're gonna make it so like we have the option to kill a bunch of people who helped us like you can push irene to suicide i think you can kill bradley you can kill that fucking innocent dude um who's amongst um, uh, not Marshall. I don't think it's Marshall, but there's, like, um, an uh, innocent cop that's, like, amongst zombies that you can just fucking obliterate. You can kill a bunch of fucking innocent people who are being, like, mind-controlled or, like, controlled by the Leviathan. You can kill, or you don't have to kill him, but you could not save the bartender who's the person who did absolutely nothing wrong to you and is just a good guy. You cannot save him. Like, you can opt out of saving him by saving a person who's, like, a murderer and just kills innocent fucking people. Cat. Who else can you fucking kill? You can kill quote unquote Fuller, but he's an evil person. So I mean, like, I can see why that wouldn't be taken into consideration. But it's like, you. Like, why give the player this illusion of choice? It's always illusion of fucking choice. The endings, pretty much. Okay, so. I went out of my way to try to get every, like, branch of insanity. Because I thought, okay, like, we'd have a hella fucked up ending. But our ending pretty much was just, hey, we got to see Cthulhu for half of a fucking second. And then we just went around punching people. And beating them to death. Like, really? That's, that's the worst you could come up with? Are you serious? I just got done killing a bunch of fucking innocent people. Going out of my way to kill innocent people. Putting Pierce through so much traumatic shit on purpose to make him purposely fucking insane. And the worst you could come up with is me seeing Cthulhu for a half a fucking second. And me going around punching cultists in the fucking face and beating a cultist who was trying to eat me to death with a rock. That's the worst fucking thing you could come up with in an ending for a Lovecraft game. Are you serious? Like, are you fucking like... What the fuck? Where were you during the rest of the game where all this fucked up shit was happening? Like, I can't believe that was the ending. That was the worst ending, guys. I was beating some dude to death with a fucking rock. Like, that was the worst ending. Like, your friends can do that to you in the forest. I didn't, like, want to play this entire fucking game for that. And half a second of Cthulhu, like, bro. What the fuck? What the actual shit? Okay, so that fucking ending was trash. The one that I got. But the good one isn't fucking, isn't even good either. How the fuck does Sarah paint a fucking picture of her on the ground with her head fucking 
split open or whatever. She's dead with a little toy soldier that the game has a heart on for and brings up randomly. Make you feel bad, I guess. I don't know. A kid that I don't even know that died before the game even started died and had his little fucking soldier. Wow. Okay. Incredible. Okay. So moving on. That ending, that good ending in fucking quotation marks was trash too. That shit wasn't good. There's absolutely no resolution for your decisions. The only thing that separates it is how fucking high or low your sanity is. And whether or not you have a bullet in your gun. And I don't even know if that's the case. I don't even know if that fucking impacts your, your options in any way. But either you have high sanity. You have your sanity intact or whatever. Pierce is Gucci. And you can be like, it's over. And she kills herself. Or I guess you can have high sanity. You can perform a counter ritual, which I... Okay, first of all, counter ritual makes you think that you're going to do like a ritual that does the opposite effect of what the ritual that you would normally do. That's why it's a counter. It's the fucking opposite. But no, literally all you do is what? You fucking, I don't know, you just fucking suck up the entire, like world and then your eyes go black and then everyone who was around you is no longer around you and then you get locked up in a fucking mental institution apparently fuller is alive again wow that makes a whole lot of sense so you're in riverside institute and you're in a straitjacket like what kind of fucking ending is that counter ritual where's like where's the there's no resolution regardless of what fucking ending you pick there's nothing there like this man Hired me to fucking find his daughter. If Beerus at the very end is alive and his fucking sanity is intact, you would think, and he gets that fucking painting, like, where, hello? Are we gonna, we're back in Boston, so what's her father, like, what does he have to say, like, about all this shit that you just went through? Where's Silas? What the fuck happened to that guy? Like, he took care of the fucking mansion. He stayed there out in his little hut. You're gonna tell me. You're really gonna fucking tell me. Obviously, we couldn't have gone on under the fucking tunnels, under the mansion of the fucking house, because that shit collapsed. Okay? So the only fucking way that we could get into the mansion is through the, run the fucking front doors. So... Where's Silas? He doesn't go anywhere. He lives in a hut on the mansion grounds. You're going to tell me he's not going to see us pulling up with Sarah? And he apparently knew that she survived because he took her body out of the fucking room. But he act like she was dead. I don't, like, nothing, nothing is adding up, bruh. There's questions, and none of them are getting answered. If Silas knew that fucking Sarah was alive, why did he fucking make a grave? And pretend to fucking bury her. Was he in on the whole thing? He must have been fucking in on it. He must have been in on it. Like, Silas is fucking ancient. Well, he's not. He really wasn't that old. But they made it seem like he was... Okay, so he was taking care of the family. So... Was... Like... What? Was he working with Charles? Was he working with Sarah? Like, I, I just don't, I don't fucking get it. Nothing makes any sense, bro. And I collected, I don't know, I, I don't want to say I collected every collectible because I'm sure I didn't. I'm sure there's definitely stuff that I missed. Because I didn't max my hidden, hidden um, ability. And plus, I, you know, you miss, you just miss things. Because you don't, you don't know entirely what you're looking for. But... What the fuck? Like, Charles, was he working with Winchester, Silas Winchester, or whatever the dude that we saw at the beginning? Like, what happened with, like, what, like, what? Like, I just don't understand. I don't understand anything that fucking happened. Nothing, no questions got fucking answered. I'm more confused than when I started, and that's not, like, a good thing. It's not, it's not like, ooh, let's figure out what happened. Let's replay through the game and figure out what we missed. It's like, no, you didn't miss anything. 
You didn't fucking, you may have missed little tiny things, little little pieces of fucking details here and there, but you really didn't miss anything because nothing was answered. Like, okay, we learned, what did we learn? Everything went back to the Silas, hi Kiki. Everything went back to the Silas, right, or the fucking ship where they got the big catch. It was the fucking Leviathan. They ate that shit, and then they started having nightmares. That's when everybody started having sleep insomnia or whatever and having nightmares, and then they started, like, hallucinating and shit because fucking Leviathan's flesh gave them powers or whatever. But, like, we know Fuller and Fitzroy and Sarah were in on it. They were the ones on the fucking ship, I guess. So... So, where does Charles fit in with this? If Charles... Charles Hawkins... So, what the fuck? Where does Charles... Hello? Like, I'm so confused. Where did he even come from? Because he was saying that, oh... He saved her from that life, and he'd do anything to protect her. Okay... So, why did you bring her to the island? Like, how did, how does that even make any sense? Because if he apparently saved her, then that, that literally contradicts the game. Because it's like, there's a picture of the three of them, Fuller and Fitzroy and Sarah, in the, in the fucking great catch fucking photo from 1840 whatever the fuck. And Charles Hawkins isn't included in that, he's not, like, but he had, like, a 10, I don't know, whatever, I'm over it, I can't believe this game, like, how are you, how are you gonna string people along for shit like that, and then when you get to the ending, where everything's supposed to tie together, that's when you make a game, when you have a game like this, and you put some sense into it. And you make it, you know, you you explain. Yeah, I'm not saying you have to explain every single fucking little thing. But, like, you have to have answers for why shit in your game happened. Like, you can't just give us some bullshit fucking cutscene and be like, that's enough. Like, no, it's not. I'm gonna need you to elaborate on what like, at least half, at least fucking half of this shit is, or is caused, like, I don't, how, like, I just, what the fuck? It's not even, like, a genuine, like, ooh, I, I love this, like I said earlier, it's not even, like, I love this, like, it's genuine curiosity, and I'm, like, you've piqued my interest, and I want to know more, and I want to replay, because it's, like, replaying isn't going to change anything. The endings are still trash. And there's no fucking differentiation between, like, the endings, regardless of what you find out. Like, you can find out little clues and stuff in the game along the way, but none of those alter the fucking ending. They alter dialogue, but they don't alter the ending at the at the end of the game, you still have four fucking options to choose from, and they are all fucking garbage, and that's all I have to say about that. Jesus Christ. Wow. Yikes. No wonder this has fucking mostly positive. Holy shit. It's just like, dude, did you just, like, whiff your fucking ending? Did you, could you not think of anything? Like, could you really, like, you exhausted every last fucking idea, every last fucking creative thought, and you just put that shit in the game, and you were like, uh, we can't think of anything else. Our creative juices are all spent and ran out. So, uh, yeah. What the fuck? Let it all out. Yeah, I am. Clearly.
I have nothing more to say. I'm glad I didn't spend money on this. Poor Cuddle spent his money on this. And you know what? I enjoyed the game up until, like, the ending. The last couple chapters weren't that great. I don't really care about the like stiff animations and stuff. Yes, I can definitely say that it distracts. Like when you're in conversation or you're in dialogue with somebody and their hands keep moving weird or this, that, and the third. It's a little bit, It's it, it can definitely be off-putting. I'll agree with that. It can definitely be off-putting. Um, it can break immersion. It was at times breaking immersion, but I feel like, and I feel like, you know, with Vampire, I think is a good example. Vampire's cutscenes are very, very good, very cinematic, very good, and Vampire isn't a perfect game, but I feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, I feel like they tried to not say they specifically tried to mimic but i feel like they wanted to go with that kind of cinematic like cutscenes but it's just like the animation of pierce's face especially his eyeballs and his mouth it was just not <clears throat> it was just not it was not having a good time clearly and it was really just destroying immersion and it was definitely excuse me out of like several times breaking breaking me out of a conversation and lessening my experience because it was like dude you're falling through your chair you're glitching like everything is clipping everything is just shaking all over the place like what the fuck chill Very sad. I liked it, but yeah, the ending, the endings, the ending of a game, see, I feel like people don't, game devs especially, but like, people in general kind of don't understand how an ending of a game can be the most important, because it's like, yeah, it's the ending, but you still need to pay more attention to the ending than I do you think like then then I feel like you you do for the beginning I think the beginning is important because it really like latches like players latch on to that or people who may not normally pick up a game will pick it up and decide whether or not they're gonna continue playing it from the beginning and if the beginning is slow they might put it down like there's definitely been games that I absolutely adore with all my heart like Oblivion Fall at New Vegas for example but the beginning of those games are fucking slow as balls and both of those games are games that when I first picked them up I put them down again because it was like holy shit like I don't have time for this you maniac so I put them down and reluctantly obviously I picked them back up and I'm glad that I did, but at the same time, not a lot of people will pick games back up after they've been, like, what's the word? After, like, the beginning of a game has been distasteful for them. But, I mean, I think anybody, I think anybody can really say, like, the ending is is more important than the beginning because those people who who are interested in that game, who are dedicated to following through the story of that game, do deserve, deserve some fucking gratification, they deserve, like, a reward for sticking through it the whole time, like, eventually, like, if people are interested in the game, they're gonna stick to the game whether or not the fucking thing is boring, or they're gonna give it tri multiple attempts and multiple tries to get into it, but, like, if you just have... A really fucking banger ass beginning to a game 
what's that really mean when you get down to it and you get down to the end and then you fucking ruin the game because the ending is utter fucking garbage and nothing is explained and nothing makes any sense and your character is even saying all throughout the game that none of this makes sense and guess what? Nothing is fucking answered. Like, you need to just, can you just make a better fucking ending? Like, anything. Like, I'll take, I'll take anything. What is with these games that are good and then it's like the endings are fucking dookie. Like, the ending for Vampire wasn't good either. It was just like, guys, you get like three quarters of the way there and then you crash and you fucking burn. I just, my feelings are hurt. I love this game up until, like, the end. Really, the end was just dookie. I mean, just, what, like, what are you doing? Give me the game. Give it to me, and I will fix it. It's about sales, I think. The majority of players' purchasers don't finish the games they buy and install. I suppose... But I think Mass Effect 3's, the whole thing that went down with that should prove that, should prove that, like, endings need to be taken seriously. Especially if it's an ending to a trilogy or to a series. But, like, just endings in general need to be taken more seriously. Because it can really, really ruin, like, all of the effort beforehand. If none of, if, like, everything just contradicts one another, it's just like, dude... Why even, like, why even try? Why even, why even put so much effort and, and skill and just passion in everything that happened prior to the ending if you're going to make the ending that? I'm just very, I'm very upset. And by very upset, I mean, man, I sure hope the sinking city's good. And that's what I mean by that. I don't know. I liked, I really liked Call of Cthulhu. I did. But I don't like the ending. And that's it. That's really it. Um, it's definitely not a perfect game. It has a lot of issues, especially with animation and character uh, models and, you know, clipping and stuff. But at the end of the day, I really enjoyed it. But the ending was really, really, really bad. So would I recommend this? Yes. If you know what you're getting into. Yes, if you like exploration and, and like story rich games and games with a lot of lore and games with nice uh, atmosphere. If you want combat, don't get it because there's no combat in here. There's just stealth where you're running away from people or sneaking or sneaking around to avoid detection, but like that that little gunplay in the in the last like chapter or whatever, last couple chapters, I wouldn't consider that combat. Like that's like I really wouldn't consider that combat at all. But I mean, yeah, I enjoyed it. It's just shitty that it had to end the way that it did, and that all the other endings weren't anywhere near. As good as they should have been, so let's hope that the sinking city is good. Please. Apparently the sinking city is supposed to be this, pretty much, except it's open world. Um, that you can explore it in different ways. There's high replay value because you can solve cases in numerous ways with different possible endings depending on your actions. We'll see about that. And, um, there's, there's weapons from the 1920s that you use to fight creatures. So, that comes out March 21st, 2019. Um, so four months. I guess we'll see whether or not that baby is good.
but I've been looking forward to it. Hopefully it kind of fills the gap that is that I'm feeling right now with with this game. But I really like honestly like it really just if they could have just um you know, answered some of the things. Like your ending doesn't have to be absolutely incredible, but you could at least finish what you started. You could, at the very fucking least, give players a resolution. Give them some type of, like, not accomplishment, but, excuse me, like, fulfillment. Do you think the game did a good job of building tension without relying on combat? Um, yes, I do. I think that the atmosphere, the atmosphere was really good. Um, and the sound design when it wasn't being, when it wasn't being extra. I think it did build tension decently enough, at least. Um, and it was interesting, like, you know, especially if you, if you want to play through without him experiencing as much trauma, if you want him to have, um, high sanity, then then that probably adds more tension because you don't want to experience, um, you want to go through the game experiencing the least amount of, like, fucked up shit. So it probably makes you play a little bit different as well. But, I don't know, I think, I think, yeah, it builds tension. Um, the thing with, the uh, when we were pushing the Shambler away, with Drake in the tunnels of Sarah, that was weird. Um, I think the whole, like, you getting chased, you getting chased and then having to flash the, um, the light, you know, that kind of shit to slow them down. That's, that's cool. And a nice, I don't know, it was nice instead of just running and having to hide. But that's, that's really, I know that answer was pretty piss poor, but... That's all I have to say now.